breather. Go and eat best food in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Beloved one, I hope you are doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while this me now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into god's presence it tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with god and then we can do this through prayer through the word of god and even as we are about listening to this so i want us to do something we are going to like this video so then please hit on the like button if you have not done so this helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You are blessed son. Stay blessed. From the pages of my heart Let my worship begin that never ends Sing it again. This is from the pages of my heart Let my worship begin that never ends To the power of all My God and your name is Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, Yahweh, it's my God, my God. tonight change our lives let it be an encounter in your presence in the name of Jesus let the sick be healed tonight let the oppressed be delivered grant us illumination access to light in the name of Jesus let us encounter your anointing and let it create possibilities in our lives in the name of Jesus God bless you please be seated it's good to be back. I apologize last week um, for the first time. Couldn't make it for the miracle service. But I want us to appreciate Pastor Jimmy alongside all the leaders that were with him. It was such, such a powerful time last week. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sirs. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Um, I welcome everyone tonight. It's a great time. Let me just quickly acknowledge the assistant chaplain of Adama State University. He's here with us. Thank you so much, sir. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Wonderful people. They are the people who make me always want to go to Adama State. I mean, they would so, so pamper you. God bless you. If you are from Adama State, make sure you be like them. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, I don't know if they are around. My dear friend told me he was going to be here. Dr. Lucas Atlong from Joss. Is he here? Oh, he's there. God bless you. And then his friend, Dr. John. Am I right? God bless you. Please, thank you. Let's honor them. Wonderful, wonderful men of God. The medical doctors also. Thank you, sir, for coming. The Lord increase you in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy to yourself and say, I receive understanding. Say it again, I receive understanding. Turn it into prayer. Lord, grant me great understanding tonight. Understanding. The entrance of thy word giveth light and understanding unto the simple. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight I'm going to be touching on a number of things and then we'll pray. Um, as I have traveled, especially in recent times, I have, I have been humbled, let me tell you sincerely, at, at the prophetic words that the Lord spoke to me many years ago. I have seen it in regions, campuses, and I am truly humbled to see that when God speaks, um, He is reliable. It pays to trust Him. It may not look like it, but if you trust Him, He will surprise you. Hallelujah. And I was sharing, I think, with our dear School of Ministry students yesterday during the lectures, and I was telling them that one of my personal goals in this life is to inspire my generation to love God to seek him and to be revealers of his possibilities this is my inspiration to my generation I hope that one day a generation will look at my life and be inspired to love God to seek him and not just to stop there that their lives will become portraits of the possibilities that a man can demonstrate if and when he's one with God. Are we together now? And so all the teachings that we bring here are an attempt, a contribution, you can call it, to open us up and help build that we rise to that point where we not only know God, but we understand his ways. It's, it's very arrogant for me to have to be the one saying this, but let me tell you sincerely, I love and I care about every one of you from the depth of my heart. It, it shouldn't be me saying it, but I say it because it's the truth. It matters to me that your knowledge of God is rich. It matters to me that your conformity to the fullness of all that he is and he represents is rich in your life. It matters to me also that you gain intelligence spiritually that you come to a point where your life is furnished with thorough understanding you are not unfruitful in the knowledge of the truth you can know god as a person and still be unfruitful in the knowledge of the systems of the kingdom you hear me say this i will keep repeating it until it becomes your convictions because the operation of God on earth, in as much as the Bible has revealed to us, is systemic. Are we together? God is the God of systems. When you encounter his person, then he grants you the ability to understand his ways, his methodology, his systems. The results that we seek are dependent on our comprehension and engaging of the systems accordingly. Are we together? So on one hand, we are coming into 
the knowledge of God, intimacy here and there, but then we must understand his ways. Listen, let me tell you this. Our destinies, the quality of our destinies on earth, not only depend on the love of God for us, but our ability to understand his ways of doing things. Are we together now? To be able to replicate his reality in our environment. That's the whole idea of kingdom come. It's not a mystery. It's to be able to sustain the ability to make your life become an expression. In every area. Every area. Remember there's a scripture we've been playing around with very recently. The Bible says Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. It says according as. Verse 2 says grace and peace be multiplied to you. You know through the knowledge of him of our God and of our Lord Jesus Christ verse 3 says according as his divine power hath given us how many things all things that pertain unto what Apostle Peter would have just stopped and said his divine power hath given us all things that would have been enough but he says those all things are divided into two categories the matters that pertain unto life and the matters that pertain unto godliness everyone say after me life, life. godliness life. say one more time life, life. godliness life. there are matters that pertain unto godliness for instance your spiritual growth right the the issues of the spirit when i open you up to the dimensions of the spirit the anointing understanding the ways of god digging into the boils of the spirit to be able to come up with the things that help you to conform better to become a spiritual man these are the things that pertain unto godliness but there are things that pertain unto life the well-being of your children matters that pertain unto life is that true the ability to not be under the yoke of this godless system that has designed a structure to strangle any intention to be serious with god there is a system intentionally built that's what is captured in the mystery babylon a system that was built with intelligence intended to frustrate any desire to be serious with god and so the system operates in many ways by making men busy by making men poor by making men mediocre by making them frustrated to lack a sense of purpose that those who are not of the world will continue to pay tribute in cash and in kind with their time and with their lives but there is a bailout system and the bible says they are matters that pertain unto life no matter how anointed you are, when you watch your child being driven out of school, it will frustrate your Christian experience. Now, I have said it again and again, we do not serve God just because of tea and bread. Listen very carefully. We don't serve God because of the things that he gives us. We serve him because of who he is and our love for him. But he has so designed in his wisdom that in serving him, you encounter other things. The ability to attend to the matters of life. Because in doing so, you demonstrate that he is a good father. Number two, in doing so, you demonstrate dominion. Number three, in doing so, it affords you the time to further commit yourself are we together there is a conspiracy it's always been there but it's been reinforced again this system of satan occupying men their time their life to never allow them serve god do you know why many of the people we call god's generals were powerful they gave god time that is the commodity that satan is fighting today in our generation time you never know anything without giving it time you meet a full animal he can whisper something to his cows and they will behave themselves because he spends time with them you don't wake up and come one morning and tell a cow move left these are animals our time with god is under attack hear me carefully our time with god that is the principal factor that sponsors our knowledge of him is under serious attack 
and if a generation does not stand up to say satan what are you doing our children you see these little kids running up and down they will no longer have time for god there is a system that is derailing men away and is doing it in a very subtle way it's not happening overnight you check the schedules of the average man there is nothing about god there aside from one religious devotion that is done in 10 minutes god is not you can't give god 10 minutes of your time and want to host his glory you come back to sleep you are tired and it's not like you were doing anything kingdom satan system he manipulates men like he's playing a chess something is wrong brothers and sisters this is i'm starting tonight with a clarion call something is wrong our generation really needs to seek the lord but not under the conditions that the devil has put us in you're not going to seek the lord when your rent is about killing you you will just dance around and give thanks but not to seek the lord it's amazing how we have to sit down and specially create time for god we don't specially create time for money we are seeking it all our lives we don't specially create time for fame we don't specially create time for a living but when it comes to god there has to be an extra effort it says as for me and my house it didn't say we'll be christians we will serve. it's a commitment as for he was not saying as for a pastor who is now into this burden called ministry say as for me and my house i have made a decision that i will serve the lord our generation is under serious threat look how hard the devil has made it for an average young man to be established even at age 40 he has not even started establishment if he's to live 80 years that's half of his life gone and don't forget that when he's 60 70 his strength may not be there again and the bible says that we should serve god in the days of our youth so he rubbishes the days of our youth so that we spend our entire life looking for what to eat what to drink trying to educate our minds trying to earn a living and then we give him some little time devotions here one program one emotional crusade here we will never it's impossible to institutionalize god to a generation that way if we want our children and our children's children to serve the lord let me tell you we must make god a big deal in our generation not a factor you add to your life if you are a christian but the basis of your living I'm concerned especially about our teenagers most of them don't know God again ask them when we were teenagers one young man who is not even serious just a Sunday school goer can recite 30 verses it doesn't matter whether he loves God or not but you ask one of these are young ones to recite even John 3 16 that unbelievers who were passing around church knew you ask them and hear what they will tell you but ask them what is the latest app the latest computer game huh the latest uh, what do we call it all these funny things they are not wrong in themselves but something is happening to a generation if we don't pay attention we will cry in old age and say lord did i fail my generation these are my contemplations the level of non-attention to god is becoming a thing of concern we are going to churches sundays churches are full with members wednesday activity i'm talking of seeking the lord not as a profession for a man of god where he gets salary at the end of the month as for me and my serve the lord most people who serve the lord is because they have given up on the matters of life there is no hope of sending any child to school there is no hope of anything they know they would die whether or not they serve the lord so they say okay since i have two years left let me just try to do something no 
our generation has brought an option be poor and fail and serve the Lord or be blessed and be occupied trying to make a living who gave us that option as for me and my house I will serve the Lord that one day I will come to your house on a weekday and hear sounds of worship from your gate not cassette you and your four children are serving the Lord and I say by two o'clock I thought you should be earning a living and you say he showed me another system now we are serving the Lord and visitors pull their mouth while they are languishing in the squalor of rebellion and watch you say pastor Alpha you are serving the Lord Jedediah is 12 years and his teenager friends are there all around smoking their destinies away and this child is there serving the Lord it is selfishness and wickedness that makes us to forget the generation that is coming I'm sorry to say it and I, I love our parents we have many of our elderly people here I love them but one of the mistakes that our fathers made was they were very selfish they did not remember that a generation was coming so all they did was to educate their minds and look for food to eat there's hardly any heritage given to a young man every young man starts almost from ground zero spiritually financially the time a young man should use building his spirit is fighting warfare because the chains that have held him at 30 he must spend one year contending for victory as for me and my house i can't claim it for everybody but as for me and my house we will serve the lord how many of us here got born again directly by our parents how many of you some of us were just around and salvation by the mercy of god met you in one sunday school some of you salvation met you at the point of death did you know that for many of us we never had the talk about god we had godliness in a religious way every time there was bible study something happened a sound in the zinc demotion that was imminent or something that sponsored some emotional reaction say as for me and my house say as for me and my house I will serve the Lord are we together yes it matters that we make this decision right now that we will serve the Lord we will serve the Lord I've been doing a lot of counseling lately especially for our dear ones that are getting married and I look at them my first concern is will your home serve the Lord will your life serve the Lord let me tell you there is a wicked Babylonian financial system there that was designed to make sure you don't serve the Lord how can one man do five jobs because he's trying to pay rent it's a cause you wake up by six do a job to 12 and Satan makes sure a stipend comes from there and then you start another one till four and your body is weak but you know if you don't do this you will not eat well and you start another one and in the next five years that man dies and leaves seven children look at our dear mothers something is wrong go listen to me i came tonight to talk to you from the depth of my heart it's a vow i built myself that's the truth you bail yourself through a commitment of obedience but my job is to share this with you that if we don't wake up and join ignorant people or this proud religiosity that only focuses on the matters of godliness and leaves the matters of life one day you will stand and watch you will be a mighty man of god with a big parish and your wife and you will watch your children with pity a letter come and stand before you we've been expelled not because we smoked not because we drank because the means to make it happen was not there you will be in a church and the owner will come and lock the church while service is going on and drive you out as for me and my house everything that must be put in place in my life to allow me serve God 
I will put in place. If you can make that commitment tonight, we have achieved something so far. It says the things that pertain unto life and godliness and those things the equipping comes through knowledge 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 there is no shortcut to greatness there is no shortcut to glory sacrifice has always been the non-negotiable condition the sacrifice of your commitment your life your resources your attention you may not have the best of, of atmosphere and environment, but there is a determination that superimposes those things. For the sake of my generation, I will present Jesus. Are we blessed? The things that pertain unto life and godliness. There are some of us, and it really grieves my heart, as young as we are, condition as we call it has taken away our focus from god there are some of us here early 20s yet you have to be sending something home god is calling you into ministry but the focus is not there the moment he's speaking here comes the bills here comes the whatever and you know that your poor aged mother who couldn't go to school our fathers many of them largely disobedient and proud people although they don't have any result you see that and they yoke all of that the average home right now has many relatives waiting for their elder brother to marry because he's the one who will continue the education for them if all you see is poverty you are not seeing well you must see an attack on a generation if all you see is sickness you are not seeing well you must see an attack look at the long-term effect of that a day will come our men will no longer go to church because they have to work all day on sunday to add to it it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow so by the time the father is not there to raise the child the devil positions somebody who is now employed who now teaches that child is it, whether the father is a pastor or a bishop is not the issue look at the children of men of god This is a cry and a burden that is boiling in my heart. We must redeem not only ourselves, but redeem a generation. We must start thinking transgenerationally. Don't say you are too young. If the entire scope of your life is just me, my marriage, my home, my this, no, you must start thinking. You see that? When Koinonia started, this young boy seated here was in the loins of prophecy. Today, he's now hearing. You will be surprised. One day now, this small boy you see will be going to secondary school. One day, he will be writing jam. And you will open your eyes and see that I made a mistake I cannot correct again. Many of us seated here. The reason why our lives are delayed is because we have to pay the price that was made by our parents before we start building our own lives you've not even started building your own life yet you are paying a debt you know nothing about then when you are 50 and have paid then you now start your own life it's an attack listen to me very carefully it's an attack an attack on the integrity of god an attack on a generation that can seek god all these revelations that we dish out in the body of christ will soon become useless if we ignore these things because there will be nobody to hear them again all the dimensions of heavens and the stars and the constellations we would talk to ourselves as men of god on stage while everybody runs around everywhere trying to make a living make a living is a cause there are many of our parents is in their deathbed they will confess that i was called to be a prophet to my generation called to be a prophet they would have been at the dimension of benihin today imagine how many destinies would have been changed if they answered the call but they were hijacked and they only see the visions in their parlor god shows them global events and they are there no grace and influence to effect it 
you read about these generals some of them can hold one year of prayer you know sometimes men of god hold prayer meetings is it not those who have eaten that will come if i hold a prayer meeting five days in a week pastor alpha you're a lecturer except god grants you grace should you can't be effective you are only effective when you have options and that's what satan wants to make sure a whole generation does not have no option no option there is an attack on our generation we must open our eyes and see it this is not just the issue of money this is not the issue of influence this is the issue of the destiny of a generation the prophetic destiny the prophets labored in the bible and prophesied about our generation and they died not seeing this now we have come in the scene and many of us are just playing games with our lives doing the same old things that brought pain to us so that our own children will cry i want to serve the lord not because i'm a preacher i want to serve the lord because my life was meant to be a revelation of his glory i want to serve the lord i want to be the one to coach my children not sunday school son sit down let me teach you the bible not police station teach my child how to live not a rehab center teach your child or daughter how to live Is God speaking to us tonight? I'm challenging you. There is a serious burden in my heart. If we do not arise for our generation, let me tell you, very soon, you will be laboring on your child and the lawless children of another person who is not listening to what I'm saying will be there to become the strongholds. We not only must care about our children, we must care about our generation. One child... 90% of our children are influenced to be bad. They are not bad on their own. You are laboring to train them. There is another godless man somewhere and they all meet in the same place. And Cain dominates Abel and make our children feel sorry for being Christians. You look at many of us here, you are looking at me now. Look how ashamed you are if you are in the social sphere. Now you are in church, you are jumping. But once you are there, are you drinking no i don't drink are you this no you and they look at you oh, what a child this guy's eyes have no and you feel so guilty for loving god and being attention and paying attention to him it's like the in thing now is rebellion you are a man to the degree to which you are stubborn lawless rebellious and proud that's what we are marketing to a generation that is the portrait of a superhero that our children are learning if you must be a superhero be rebellious be a bully be everything but a christian the average young child is not interested in church again again you invite them find out how many teenagers come for koinonia you'll be surprised there are young people there are old people but the teenagers don't come it's not because it's night they stroll around and then go around and do a lot of things and satan comes he wants to capture that generation but in the name of jesus christ there are people who will say no way there are people who will create a spiritual barricade that as the priest of my home no way satan there is no entrance huh that gentleman who was talking about aleko or whatever it is look at now that a time will come your child will be saying mommy we are from benway but what is that you say i settled it already don't worry it was well settled that that discussion just one day i will tell you about the story that once upon a time in our village people don't reach 30 but i stood as an altar and i settled it are we together And one of the deceptions let me begin to build my discussion tonight now one of the deceptions that I think God is granting me grace to connect tonight is what I call the danger of imbalance write it down 
the danger the catastrophic danger of imbalance it not only matters that we communicate truth it matters that the truth we communicate must be the whole counsel of God everybody say the whole counsel of God the whole counsel of God is a definition of all his intention everything he desires for a people within a time period to know about him represents the whole counsel of God for that dispensation and one of the things that you see Satan playing out right now is an attempt to use religion as a tool that sponsors imbalance in our quest seeing then that he cannot stop us from having an appetite for God he now begins to sell imbalance to believers and let me tell you something brothers and sisters imbalance is as dangerous as falsehood imbalance is as dangerous as a lie let's examine a few things before I talk about imbalance I shared one time about three great errors that the Lord revealed to me in the body of Christ if you remember when we were talking about the body of Christ let me do a quick recap that the Lord began to reveal to me that there were three great errors in the body of Christ the first error is found in first Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1 first Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1 he said the spirit speaketh expressly the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith we're examining the first error now giving heed to seducing spirits and then the doctrine of devils everyone say the doctrine of devils another word for this is apostasy apostasy a deviation from god's known pattern of operation apostasy the first error that the body of christ has to contend with is the error of apostasy listen to my message the apostate church apostasy a deviation from the truth and also a deviation from god's pattern two things there a deviation from the truth is called apostasy but a deviation from the pattern of communicating that truth is also apostasy even if the information is correct but the spiritual system of transferring it is wrong it is still apostasy are we together in God's dealings with men both the information and the pattern are important not just the information don't just say the most important thing is that I'm healed the most important thing is that I prosper the most important thing is that I get anointing no sir there is a predefined pattern when God looks at you and you are doing business with God what you got is not as important as how it came don't just say I was anointed don't just say I was prosperous don't just say I I got married don't just say I had a child God is obsessed with patterns that if you must host his glory then there must be a formation that must be according to pattern apostasy I teach that there are two dimensions to apostasy number one the communicator of the message himself not being of God that's the first dimension where there, whether as a man of God as a businessman whoever attempting to communicate anything the plan from the beginning was deception intrinsically the communicator himself is of the devil there is such a possibility in the body of Christ and in our environment not just apostate informations apostate people people who are not they were never never of God from the first place are we blessed and then number two the people the communicators of those truths may be genuine but the information they are communicating is a doctrine of demons you can be genuine sincere let me take ministry as a case study you can be a sincere man of God you love God you are not fake but the content of your communication is a doctrine 
that is not sponsored by the spirit of christ the bible says that some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and then doctrines of demons i can be a genuine man of god genuinely anointed by god but because of a system the bible calls seduction are we together now i can deviate from god's way of doing things and now become a communicator i am not fake but my message is not genuine both of these cases can be classified as apostasy so that's the first error the second error that i teach is the error of individualism also the error of indifference write it down indifference what we call i don't care attitude right individualism we don't think kingdom we don't think generational we think me so if a jimmy's leg is having a problem provided it has not affected me it's none of my business this is where many many men of god many many of we pastors pentecostals especially have missed it we have missed it big time in this area we are so individual individualistic we don't care about what is happening to the body provided my church provided my life is immune for it, from it to hell with the body are we together yeah so if the danger has not come to meet me it doesn't matter if an arm robber comes to steal in a pastor's church nearby it was not my church it was not my member my kingdom financier was not robbed so pastor may god bless you if someone dies provided he's not a member of my church it's amazing how we leaders mentor people to deliberately select being in the body is not enough you must be associated with me to be able to enjoy certain benevolence that is meant for the body it's a poisonous spirit the error of indifference the error of individualism when god begins to build his army his system of operation is that he takes us beyond individualism and connects us as an organism if your leg is having pains your head can pain you because of the leg is that true um we're returning back from kano and we stopped at a filling station to get fuel and one guy was marketing a funny product you know these guys that market something at the filling station and he said um there's a the drug or the lotion whatever it is is for teeth <laughs> but you rub it on your leg <laughs> yes he said you don't have to rub the thing on your teeth you just rub it on your leg now that, that's a body consciousness at least i didn't buy it but he taught me that the leg is related to the teeth because we have been taught to apply drugs only where it hurts and leave other parts and he said no no let me show you another formula you can apply it in the leg but it can touch the teeth that means i can pray from zaria and god can preserve kenneth copeland because it is the body i can hear that there is an attack on a man of god and not say after all they don't listen say no no lord this whatever it is he's part of the body his integrity is our integrity as the body and lord arise in your mercy for your namesake but we keep becoming individualistic you as believers what is your pride our pride let me tell you the pride of our generation three things one revelation rema the extent to which you bring an exegesis of the truth and nothing is wrong with that right greek words hebrew words play around with all kinds of concordances and then dish out mysteries we love that two prophecy if i give you a prophetic word which is not bad three anointing and our definition of anointing is fall down not result fall down just make sure you hit that bench as a testament that the communicator is having something and so this erroneously become the pivot of our pursuit we're looking for revelation we're looking for an ability to communicate which is is is, is to be desired 
and then we are looking for an anointing to make sure when we step into a meeting people just fall up and down and when these things happen we believe that we are fine and we don't extend the scope of our alliance to God to extend beyond our personal comforts to think body in terms of administration you know I love koinonia thank God this is where he's planted me but in terms of the health of the church I am passionately concerned about the body of Christ just follow me we are going somewhere tonight are we blessed the third error that I teach um, I have taught this already so is what I call exaggerated confrontation of error this is where it even gets sad exaggerated confrontation of error that means that error that is attempted to be corrected but not from a standpoint of love error that is attempting to be corrected from a standpoint of intrinsic intimidation by the supposed corrector now listen very carefully you see please come Jimin. can i use you Amen. when you see Jimin, one word you think wealth finances right well anointing too anointing no, at least last week you saw it praise god now watch this chances are that if god has called a jimmy to represent um that dimension of maybe the holy spirit and finances to people and i have a bias with finances either as a result of men, my mentality or my frustrations two of them can cause the same thing i can have a poor mentality or i can be secretly frustrated now if there is an imbalance in a jimmy's life or his way of communicating that chances are that because i was angry since even before the imbalance came now that i have found a scapegoat of a lapse in him i will correct it in a way you know it was paining me this is not the point is not to correct the point is to vent out pain there is a big this exaggerated confrontation is even more deadly than error itself i once had a well somewhere a man of god was talking about those he was saying they teach people how to pray in tongues somewhere you know trying to be sarcastic that man himself does not pray in tongues he doesn't believe it but there is no there's no legitimate case for him to fight it so he now routes through a church or a man of god that he sees teaching people he now uses that one exception this is how you know error is exaggerated a man of god or a businessman or whatever picks one single error and robs it off beyond the proportion of his relevance you know that the, the goal is not to sponsor correction the goal is to help manage intimidation are we together now so Ejimi talks about money and all of that and all of a sudden i'm there in my frustration and i turn and i say be careful all these guys that just talk about money all the time the truth of the matter is that i may be right in speaking about that unique situation but it's not coming from a standpoint that wants to contribute to the health of the body i am only communicating because i am intrinsically frustrated thank you sir are we blessed some of us here seated looking at me have become victims even of this it tells on how we hate anointed people it tells on how we hate wealthy people are we together now yes and so we try everybody right now is in the ministry of correction that is the latest anointing that is going all around everybody is correcting everybody everybody once you have access to a mic and you can talk and people can hear you everybody is correcting everybody let me tell you this the greatest danger in the church now is not error the greatest danger is imbalance and this imbalance has come from this third point this is where i want to build my case tonight so pay attention so that you find out whether you are part of it and trust god to help you tonight everybody shout imbalance, imbalance. there is something about the limitation of pentecostals that our orthodox brothers and sisters capitalize on and use it as the basis why you should not be open to the things of the holy spirit then there are things that the pentecostals use 
as their excuse for thinking an orthodox lifestyle is too mean and basic and all of that and all of them may have some sense of justification but the truth is that there is an inner anger for one another just waiting for a legitimate excuse are we together now yeah whether it is an issue of marriage or finances or fidelity or issues that have to do with um, administration and leadership whatever it is how you know that correction is not coming from a sincere point is the exaggeration exaggeration i always say you use a, a hammer to kill a fly a simple tap on that fly it would die but when you use hammer you were angry it's not about the fly the fly just happens to be what the hammer is hitting obviously that hammer was not designed for the fly it's just that the fly got in the way of the hammer and boy will that hammer hit the fly there is a spirit of pride listen carefully it looks like it's coming from god but i'm exposing lucifer there is something satan is doing in the especially among we men of god that god has privileged to have access to revelation and anointing and a dimension of the miraculous pride is gradually eating us up because we believe that because of the little results we have we have authority by ourselves to correct everybody and everything every man of god is trying to show what another man is doing wrong everyone is trying to show that this is wrong why are you praying like this the other one will say you too why are you keeping quiet when you are praying the other one will say what is the meaning of warfare the other one will say keep waiting demons are coming see let me tell you this let me tell you this listen very carefully listen carefully if we do not trust god to rise up and correct these imbalances we are going to authorize satan to destroy us god's goal is not to produce koinonia in all the earth if god gives me an assignment and says apostle through you the gospel will get to the ends of the earth he was talking to all the people who will come out spiritually and prophetically through my loins through there are ministries that will come out of me they are an extension of that instruction the idea is not to turn every believer in nigeria into koinonia it's a failed project from day one and anybody who knows god will never be part of that failed agenda so god is not glorified when koinonia has more members god is glorified when the kingdom advances listen very carefully because right now the entire scope of our soul winning agenda is sometimes is even sheep stealing i say this because i love the body you are sitting quietly taking fresh air someone comes to preach to you you say okay i'm already born again as soon as he's leaving you another person is coming say your brother just say it doesn't matter you just listen have you have you been giving um, um are you are you aware of our church services you say yes you say come and the next time you see him look how people feel guilty and blackmailed because i invited you for koinonia you didn't come and you make it look like you are the worst sinner in the whole world you are just because you did not come that's not salvation that's pressure like banks give people target bring this by this month we have begun to propose some of those campaigns and we must be careful kingdom advancement is not the advancement of a name of a church is the advancement of the agenda of god in the hearts of men and across the spheres now it 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 is important that the individual ministries do their best to be the the platforms for people to be saved and equipped but that's not the idea there are people it's one of the reasons why pastors never invite people to their pulpit because someone comes and in two minutes before he preaches he has said almost 90 things about his church and sometimes some can even be sarcastic to downplay the church that now invited them you hear about people who go for conferences and before you know it while in that conference he saw a keyboard is playing well he saw a worshiper singing well and the man of god will collect their numbers travel back and now call them and begin to indoctrinate them you are you you sound too good your pastor doesn't deserve you come and join a moving train we say and then the member now leaves his church to join the supposed moving train and then we make it look like god is only with us it is pride let me repeat the idea that makes you believe you are the only representation of god in a territory is pride 
the day koinonia believes that we are the only and even the ultimate representation of god in this region is a sign that error has already eaten beginning from me to everyone may god forbid it Amen. are we together now yes this is the basis behind the show of superiority from men of god to churches to business people imbalance imbalance the the inability to construct the truth of god's word so that it becomes edifying to you and to the body now let me teach you something the dealings of god has a side effect watch this i've shared it here that if god calls me into the healing ministry watch this because of the character and the nature of my training are we together it will require a level of meticulousness in a dimension chances are that because of my concentration i will trivialize other matters of the kingdom too they are important but because they were not captured in my training process i will assume that they are not important are we together now so when i now come up this is the healing evangelist evangelist joshua selman and i'm healing and when i see somebody in another dimension is the reason why we reject certain ministries in the body because we have not been trained you see young people come and dance and while they are dancing someone is just waving his head and say what a wasted generation simply because the way god trained you that was not captured as part of the experience of the training so you can downplay it then to mean that these are not serious things when people come to church they sleep and snore every other time until the man of god comes in now the uh, god has been moving since praise and worship you were not taught to respect it a time of worship people are rolling on the floor god is speaking to people someone has received this breakthrough already but you were trained that until someone stands on stage so if the man of god now comes and starts rolling you say what kind of church is this you don't preach here yeah? I want you to listen to me very carefully why am i teaching you this because god is helping us to be a blessing to many others are we together in balance there are many people in the body of christ whose ministries have been strangled no room to find expression simply because the man of god who founded the church the experience of allowing those ministries to find expression were not captured in his dealings with god and so because of that the moment you see any other ministry that is outside your scope of understanding you fight it you abuse it you can call it of the devil you blackmail it amazing do you know why god limits you like this so that it is in partnership with other dimensions in the body you see how complete the body is you see that so if god has granted me grace to walk in a dimension of the teaching ministry and i don't walk say in miracles and sam come sam sam walks in the miraculous it is my identifying with sam it now supplies a dimension of god that i wouldn't have seen are we together now for sam the way god dealt with him it was just vision and power so when sam comes to the stage he said look stop all this grammar of bible study let's go straight to wheelchairs he is also in error he does not know it's just that his own nature of ministry is what is desired by the masses they want power immediately so chances are that you will see that in sam's church you receive miracles but there's no spiritual growth because the system he just the it was the god almighty god that was the revelation that was given to him for you the rabbi of rabbis that's what you got so you can sit down and teach one series for one year and then i reject you i say sam all it takes is mental transformation not power people need to be leaders and then sam is saying continue there you are watching your members crying what they need is power both of them god is with them but they believe god is not with each other you see that mistake 
hey, Jimmy, please can i use you again please come and then all of a sudden this guy comes he's a leader he's an entrepreneur he's a businessman and i said look all these your business principles i laid hands on somebody a millionaire's child without knowing any finance thing and all of a sudden they gave me an estate all these things you are trying to teach people is nonsense teach them power and estate comes and the members ignore this principle and they find out that estate didn't come after 10 years the man is married now the preacher got an estate but the hearer didn't get it are we together now all three of them now chances are that a jimmy may be angry and say look at this guy power 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 let's see whether you ever rise to the government this is the fight now everybody let me tell you what satan does when satan wants to destroy you if he knows there's nothing he can do about your anointing he covers you from seeing the body so the only thing you see is your church and your performance and based on that he will now use supposed loyal sons to keep you in that state the power when you came into that meeting you know i like you you don't talk anything no verse the bible was not open straight to power and he said you mean it you were impressed say yes now this is a group here hiding themselves and shortchanging themselves in imbalance yet they will believe that because the man sees visions he has the entire scope of what god is doing and then he will have the effort to now indoctrinate his members into believing that anytime you see our teacher man or anytime you see our businessman ignore them just get power and rest and that's what is happening so we have a congregation of people today who have no regard for the word of god turn to philippians that you see them just snoring once you hear so, ah, 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 you see, that's right this is i mean we are, we are in church now that's all people want and while that shout is going on the business guy says when you finish go and pay your rent shout roll on the floor your rent is the, the tribute collectors are there and you can't say he's not godly because he's rich and he's with part of the money your church was built so the pastor can't shout at him you know what it will mean to you look at the confusion now let me tell you no one of these three will admit they are incomplete it is one of the hardest things for men of god to do to admit that regardless of what they have seen they need to spread their horizon beyond the scope that was revealed to them to see the body it is in the seven lampstands that the fullness of christ was seen the seven lampstands i had a voice when i turned i didn't see christ i saw the complete church with all the dimensions when i saw the complete church i saw the fullness of christ if i had seen two of them i would see only his hands and think god is a hand then i see another church and see his eyes and think all to god is prophecy then i see another church and i see his legs and i think all in life is progress but the complete church revealed the complete christ is god speaking to us this is a revelation that will bless you beyond imagination and so Ejimi now organizes a seminar to correct people and gathers all his members and say look all those power guys don't mind them all those revelation guys the bible says money answer it that's the members answering him now all things whereas there's somebody dying in the hospital with cancer a millionaire that money cannot do anything about are we together now answer it all things and if any of his member dare ask him and say sir why don't the power of god work in you say are you stupid am i not rich is that not power you see that person becomes a disloyal person imagine how many of us are called disloyal for asking questions pastor we don't pray in tongues in this church but is it all right don't ever ask me i am this i am that don't go and join all those riffraff roadside prophets man of god is it okay if i meet a man of god to hear the counsel of god no the word is everything just focus on the word don't let any roadside prophet come and deceive you whereas that man is in utter confusion and five minutes of this ministry can correct 10 years in his life yes, many members would have moved forward 
if only they went to where the eyes of God is but they refuse because the pastor has the hand of God and they keep seeing the hand of God the hand does not see it only holds what the eyes see listen to me because many of us are starting ministry now some of us are ministry some of us are leaders and already we are if we are not careful we're get, we're getting into big error we've been mentored by all kinds of people that's why i see as a man of god if god gives you any influence over people go and pray and say lord let me not raise a people that will be defiant from your patterns i say it with all humility not to blow the trumpet of this ministry but by his grace koinonia has been part and parcel of the building and the lifting of many ministries as a person we have account numbers of many ministries that i'm not even connected to they are not my friends we could just hear that there is a program somewhere and say look we have to do something the other day i think dunamis came and they were opening their branch here our protocol department all of them they said look let's go and serve i said quickly make sure that anything that is needed let it be given my koinonia I am apostle. I'm the owner of Zaria. God gave it to me. It's my property. No. This is why men of God don't sleep. This is why men of God yoke members with covenant. Swear that you will stay. Why will I swear? Why? You change clothes? Why, why shouldn't I? I mean, I, I should swear that what? No. Or we now make it prophetic. God told me the day you leave me or the day you do this there is a cause where this is a lie there is no cause coming anywhere anywhere just because someone is falling down when we are saying it does not mean it's a lie there is no cause anywhere even god you can choose to leave him i said before you life and death why will somebody come and threaten you let me tell you the truth i love the body but it's a lie it's our insecurity it's not the holy spirit don't blame the, the holy spirit has no part in this people stay when they are changed people don't just become loyal to a leader foolishly don't you know that in the kingdom you keep things by leaving them hmm. whosoever keeps his life shall lose it whosoever keeps his members shall whosoever tries to keep money shall but whosoever loses it for my sake are you learning something thank you sir thank you. exaggeration now let me teach you something it is true that there are erroneous things in the body but hear me correcting the body of christ is a ministry you have to be called into it the same way god calls someone to be a prophet you are called is part of the apostolic and prophetic system of governance and it's not just every apostle and every prophet that is a corrector even among apostles and prophets there are rankings and dimensions not just because you're an apostle or prophet or pastor or teacher i am pastor so 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 i read in harvard i am no no sir we are misleading people there are spiritual conditions for you to have the authorization to be shown the weakness of the body let me tell you this you can observe what you think is the weakness of the body but god can show you what is the weakness of the body there is a condition to end that level of intimacy from god where god can show you this is where my body is weak correct it hey jimmy if your son or your wife feels down do you just walk to anybody on the street and say my wife my son has a little rashes here or my son has knife caught him here and you open your son's cloth do you do that you go to an authorized place called a hospital and even in that hospital you enter a room and if need be in that room you can pull up and you are comfortable because it is the authorized place where that matter is addressed if you pull your son's cloth on the road somebody will look at you and say man of god what is going on but if you pull your son's cloth there it is the place not every place is a place of correction let me tell you this there is a condition you must sustain as a man of god to be afforded the opportunity to contribute in correcting the body and that element is not prayer that element is not fasting 
that element is not even revelation that element is genuine love for the body not for god for the body you will never be given access to correct the body until you love that body you can't correct the body from the standpoint of hatred you can't correct the body from the standpoint of resentment you can't correct the body from the standpoint of error it's impossible if i hate keyboards and this guy is making a mistake i don't have the right to correct him because my correction will meet with a bias that has been there let me tell you this i travel a lot and you can ask those who travel with me i go to all kinds of churches and they do all kinds of things sometimes i am surprised when i see what people do in many churches my mind i say if i catch my child doing that kind of thing we will talk oh, we will talk seriously yet i am able to have the accommodation let me give you a secret if you look at christ in every church you will find him let me repeat they went to a tomb where there was no life and found jesus there a tomb where there is no life yet when the woman kept looking she saw jesus in that tomb is it in your bible the living have nothing to do in the grave but a woman was determined to see jesus and although her location was the grave she still saw him so that dead church that you think your pastor is as dead as whatever the day your heart is humble and you know that the builder is not a man of god but the spirit of god one day in the confusion of your pastor he will say something that is the secret for your lifting now we who god has helped with little revelation little grace here this is what we do when we go to church we hold our bibles arrogantly and sit at the back we don't sit in front because the man doesn't have anything to say and then he comes as usual turn to the book of this and that and god so loved the world are you aware of this and someone is just nodding and say oh god i i would have listened to a message that would bless me what is this guy doing and wasting my time and you think what you are demonstrating is superiority because of spiritual level it's a sign you have fallen for the deception yourself because the higher you rise in the kingdom the more you know we are products of his mercy so while you stand there and watch the man of god ramble and make mistakes and quote wrong scriptures in the midst of it you what if you really look at jesus the holy spirit will start speaking to you and say truly there is this treasure in earthen vessels you say this man may not be so accurate yet he has been pastoring for 15 years and the members didn't leave him while you who has revelation is struggling to have 10 members and the god starts revealing to you you are now seeing jesus in that weak man that there is a grace upon this man one day in the midst of his confusion he would tell you t.l osborne came to lagos and he was part of those who were helping to hold his bag and t.l osborne touched his head you said that's where he got it pastor i know you don't preach well but i just found out you are carrying something i need touch me and the man said no are you who preach very well i was impressed said pastor you were impressed with my revelation but what i need now is what you carry there is no man of god that comes to my life that i cannot receive anything from no that's why i see some of our fathers i don't sit down and say oh revelation revelation there are places i travel to minister i already know that they may not have that level of word content but when it's time to pray i'm humble please reveal it to me many of us are about to lose it because if it is not a company of people who have your level of spiritual enlightenment they don't matter to you you will miss something because the greatest treasures you need will be hidden in that reverend that cannot speak english that reverend that is it one day god will tell you go for the capro missions program i say lord me me that i'm looking to be young what is capro how many will forest to go and win with soul when i can snap my finger i've learned the law of exemption and god says break your pride and follow them to that village you follow them to that village and you sit down and see a house reverend who has not been sick once for 22 years god will say this is why i brought you kneel down let him release something upon you before you carry your pride and be lying that you have not taken drugs for 30 years and die two weeks later out kneel down let that man give you something genuine 
let me tell you this one of the secrets of my spiritual growth is my open-heartedness towards the body not necessarily my perfection in pursuing god my open-heartedness that does not mean you jump at error no no when i discern grace i realize there is something this woman never built a house but she never went hungry she would tell you every pastor that rose up came and stayed in her house there is something you should receive there we are about losing that's why many of us do you know let me tell you one of the things with error once you stay in a dimension and don't open up to the body your area of strength will magnify and your area of lapse will become clear it will be clear that only your hands are growing but your head is remaining small it will be clear that you are growing in prosperity but your knowledge of god is diminishing it will be clear that you are growing in the miraculous but you don't have a heart for god by the grace of god i want to raise the balanced people that they can look at your life and see that the matters of life when they come to passion for god you are there prayer you are there not because i have all but i know how to bring all i travel somewhere and i see a man of god ah apostle you are the great man and your messages while he's saying that i'm observing lord what do i see this man has more character than me i may pray more than him but if we stand here and somebody is about to kill us i would deny christ and run but this guy will stay and die that means there is a grace for courage that i need our pastor is coming from adamawa state i had the privilege they invited me i've been there three times now sir yes three times and when boko haram struck 2014 sir am i right and destroyed those people in mubi it was that meeting that was like um it was a starting point for the churches again while i preached and saw the way they honored me i asked myself a question i said with all this mouth i make if i was part of the pastors that stood before boko haram will i denounce christ don't be too fast say me uh -uh. now there are protocol people protecting you but there a pastor can go out in the morning and say wife if you don't see me just know that i died for christ that means there is a grace you say the man is not praying in tongues but you who is praying in tongues you run away at a sound on your zinc this guy is standing and watching a gun do you think it is normal no by faith abel offered it takes something to offer yourself now a wise man will meet that man of god and say sir you may not have the grace to preach and heal like me but i see that there is a dimension revealed to you if i stay where i am i will raise sons that can pray but never stand for christ i need that grace i admit i don't have it i admit that dimension has been opened up to you i humble myself sir it does not make you small this is what we will never do as men of god our pride will never allow us we will hide and listen to tapes in the secret Hi. and some of you are already learning those kinds of things you never see yourselves and celebrate yourself that guy is pastor femi pastor femi of where rema which which rema ah please i came into this town i'm a man of god already who is this pastor of where under who no if you don't change from this a generation will show that there was a lapse of god that we did not tap into don't ever let anybody say the prophetic is not useful just because you found the word of god don't call every prophet a reef raff and a roadside prophet there is a dimension only prophecy can birth no amount of study can bring you there there is a dimension only mental transformation can bring so don't insult Mel Mel mensa otabel and say oh these guys are just uh -uh. there is a dimension only joyce mayer can bring there is a dimension only benny Hinn can bring there is a dimension only dr lukoya can bring there is a dimension only papa kumui can bring you ignore Dr. Lukoya and demons kill you in your pride. <laughs> you die the death of a fool before your time. A man who was the best in molecular genetics and left it. 
left something went to school abroad exceptionally molecular genetics and came and humbled himself to carry the cross and all of a sudden you see him and just say what is all these things we even mimic them in laughter and the demon say thank god for such a foolish generation are we together then you see a man of god Papa Ia Deboe can just stand. I'm mentioning names because I'm saying positive things about them. And because their fathers indeed. May God bless you. You're like, I, I need. <laughs> and you listen to TD Jakes. And while he's moving, keyboards are playing and moving. And you just came out of seven days dry, retreat like a skeleton, almost dying. I said, what is this guy saying? Is it just to say you will come out that you can't say in one minute? And while you are there in your pride, slaves left Africa and went to U.S. God picks a man out of them and makes one of the best preachers. You didn't ask how it happened. When they traced his origin, they found out he's Igbo, a Nigerian. Are you learning? Who have you resented because of imbalance? Some of us right now, we love God, but we have been, we have educated ourselves into believing that some people in the body are not relevant for our growth. I'm telling you, you are already in imbalance especially if you're a man of god if you are hearing me and you're in this mistake change now change quickly never go back home and put men of god and keep bringing them one by one. Oh, this one doesn't have fire this one he doesn't have this ah this one i like his suit i like this one i like his this be careful there is one lord there is one faith there is one baptism there is something that Joshua Selman will never see, even if I fast for 400 days. It will not be covered by a demon. It will be covered by God himself. So that I will need a Jimmy to see it. There is something a Jimmy will never see until he looks at a Pastor Toby or a pastor here in Adamawa. There was something about God I learned when I went to Adamawa, sir. I, I say it. I have never seen a level of generosity from people like that women some of them old enough to be my mother and you see i'll say it till today when i go to movie they see me they start jumping daddy oh yo yo people with doctors lecturers with such depth of humility i don't know if i can do that for anybody and while they do those things i don't sit down with my pride and say wow you mean they acknowledge me this far i sit down and say lord let this grace for humility that will be upon a man of 50 years before i now die in the next 10 years because of pride do you see that god has put the remedy for our fall in the body but because we could not tap into it imbalance is a destroyer there are many families today that have no business being in poverty if they would listen to those carrying the graces it's amazing that what we resent is what we secretly desire. Oh, I prophesy, your name is divine. Ah, man of God. And so, yeah, all these riffraffs, divine. Whereas one day he tried to, he said, What's your name? Are you Gabriel? He said, No, I'm a Jimmy. And he just, ah, he said, No. He, he wanted it secretly. He was just too hot. And then he said, No, what is not all about prophesying? We must be careful most of the things people criticize they test it secretly when it becomes too hot they live as if nothing happened then they create a theology ah, ah, how can one person be praying for 12 hours life is not all about prayer that man has tried to pray secretly he, he thought it's just by energy the grace is not there so he sees someone fasting dry two weeks there's a man I know in Abuja. I don't know anybody that fasts on earth like him. One day, maybe when we are doing something in Koinonia, and he honors me a lot, I'm sure I'll bring him one day to pray. That man can go for um, no food, no water, not that you drink water in the night. Dry. Ah! 
if that man prays even standing close to him you will feel as if they are electrocuting you i literally mean it there is no deliverance case that gets to that man that goes back free Papa. before i no, i'm serious i really am serious that guy has stretched this body and brought it under subjection the kind of power that is in that man's voice yet he will come to me like this and still kneel down sometimes i'm tempted to say stand up oh you better stand up and lay hands on me how you know you love the body is your outspoken celebration of the uniqueness in it the moment you are ashamed to celebrate the uniqueness in the body is a sign that something about it is intimidating you oh a beautiful song look how wonderful this guy's voice was when he was singing i was just listening to his speech I said, who dash monkey banana? Let me try that thing. I was in a bell kuta. My voice ceased just because it was raining. Yes, someone shouting. <laughs> Are we together? Now, don't forget, for those of you who know a little about me, I was once a music director. I'm not naive musically. But now I carry my pride and try what he's doing and that's the end of it. There's no koinonia for one month so i can choose to respond to my frustration by trivializing him and say it's not all about pitch the most important is the message no sir we need the pitch too otherwise recite a poem don't sing <laughs> it's not all about prosperity okay carry everything in your house and give to the poor the blogger who is talking is using an ipad that he bought two hundred and fifty thousand, and say it's not all about prosperity are we together it's not all about money and there is a hot meal in your kitchen waiting for you and there are poor people there it's not all about prayer yet you have intercessors in your church praying for you so you know prayer is important it's not all about fasting yet people are fasting for you it's not all about prophecy yet you call and say uh, promise just find out whether god is saying something around this i'm agreeing with you it's just that I, i'm not i had something i just want to i won't tell you because i is pride just say help me sir i'm trusting to hear something i'm a man of god too but there's there's this the vision is hazy i'm not seeing very well what is there does it mean you are not born again a hazy vision is something that happens to everybody jesus touched people many times are we together you must reject imbalance the imbalance that comes in approaching the body the imbalance in camping around a dimension as revealed to you and ignoring the usefulness of what god has distributed in the body you must sustain a fortitude tonight to embrace there is something i've learned from our children that no adult can teach me no matter how simple and well behaved you are these children have taught something they have taught me faith they have taught me courage some of do you know some of these little children are in prayer department am i right prayer department they don't miss it so if a child can be in a prayer department what excuse does an adult have Pray. you tell them i'll buy you sweets they won't forget they come back and say uncle my sweet they never ask whether you have the money because they expect you to be adult enough to check whether you have money first before speaking now you learn that thing and when god says i know the thoughts i think towards you like a child you don't start asking lord where will the uncle come from no. you stop learning when pride close your eyes may humility open it tonight so that you can see what is going on you see that's why many of us don't know what god is doing in the body we only knew what he was doing with us in our little corners and we get up and say revival is coming when it has started since because you were not there the virgins had oil but they could not go to the market there were others who had in abundance but the foolish virgins did not get more a time came their own finished they had their own oil but they would have gone to get some more the same way joshua selman has anointing but i need to get some more from benny i need to get some more from kenneth copeland 
I need to get some more because the challenges in the future at this my level of anointing will eat me as if I'm not anointed so I will not allow the pride because of the level God has brought me now believe that I can stand Benny Hinn's kind of challenge so I need the grace so I will listen when pastors come to me for counseling there's nothing that humbles me more than that and some of those people are anointed people Dr. Luca and Dr. John sent me a text and they said apostle we are coming over and I said oh dear I love you when I was told I was told that since around 4 a.m. or so this is the assistant chaplain he's also a man of God himself but he came here since around 4 to sit down what is there about a man the veil has been torn and it tears and you do you don't enter the veil has been torn you are still poor the veil has been torn you are still this whereas you can humble yourself and say every house is built by some man but God is the builder of it all there are people who must assist you in life otherwise you will never rise it's not pride One of the things that God helps me to do at the beginning of the year I go and our daddy escorts me to go and meet the pastors of CGC I go and greet them and get down on my knees with just a little I honor them and I get down on my knees and the pastor and his wife they speak and prophesy over me and lay hands over me I won't come and say see crowd no there is a grace if I were their age, I don't know if I would submit to a small boy like this. So Lord, help me before this pride that comes with middle belt and kill me. Where we don't have anything yet, we make a lot of noise. Lord, deliver me from it. So that I can look at one of these, our little ones tomorrow and say, Apostle, I saw myself laying hands on you and I said, do it. The girl is shaking. I said, I said, do it. And she lays hands and from that day you enter a dimension of revelation you can sit and say god forbid transfer it to another adult let me receive it from the adult and god says you will never get it that way are you blessed yes imbalance is dangerous is why we have not seen i remember years ago i tried to pray for a woman i think somewhere in abuja also i can't remember I prayed for that woman I have never felt helpless before a sick body like that day you know how you pray and you know that there's no hope of that prayer being answered under that condition I couldn't feel any anointing the woman just stood there it saddened me I encouraged this woman koinonia no koinonia had not even started it was just about to start I said Lord how can a man be this helpless I came in your name bragged in your name if you see the scriptures i was quoting quoted this 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 the kingdom of god is not in word but in power and all that there was no power yet the bible say in my name i did it it didn't work that meant i need to submit to somebody who has the eyes of the spirit to tell me what the bible was saying because it's clear i did not get what jesus was saying are we together and yet i watched benny Hinn climb up the stage before he raised one worship song 40 wheelchairs 40 brothers and sisters this thing is not magic if you don't have it find it because it is there if it is not in your life it is not missing it only requires the humility to search you desire the prophetic and it's not in your life it is available it will take your humility to search man of God I've prayed but I know God has directed me but I do not know whether or not God is calling me to Kogi or Lafia and the moment you are talking the Lord just tells the person Lafia and he says the Lord is sending you to Lafia in one minute the word of the Lord came because of your humility to align instead of fasting for 100 days and you hear Lafia just when you round up the fast you hear a quiet bomb and as soon as you round up the fast you hear jaws you see that whatever is a limitation to you we are going to pray please listen carefully whatever is a limitation to you 
the word limitation is relative everything you need is already resident within the body if your life is poor god did not make it so you ignore the grace that conveys that possibility if your prayer life is dead it is not god's will you have ignored the envoys that he has put that supply of the spirit upon if you do not have access to the deep things of god it is because pride has made you to take away the relevance the necessity of the word of god i look at people and with all humility i know they have stopped growing they've not backslidden but they put a peg around their lives simply because they cannot open their door and say oh god bring in other dimensions that are not here they stood there and you know that's not their best that's not their greatest hallelujah praise the lord tonight is my prayer that god will deliver us from the error of imbalance that we will escape the danger of imbalance 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 that we will not trivialize the dimension of god that is required for our lives all dimensions cannot be in your life but all dimensions can work for you listen carefully all dimensions cannot be in your life it's impossible but all dimensions available can work for you meaning that it's impossible for me to be as prophetic as ever as apostolic as ever as evangelical as ever no there is the limitation that god puts i can be benny Hinn and kenneth copeland and joyce mayer and td jakes and bishop oyedeko and papa Ia Deboe at the same time with the same degree no sir i have to be one of them but i can enjoy what is on bishop oyedeko papa adeboye benny Hinn. i can enjoy it through the humility of participations the word koinonia sharing together the ability to extend your hand through humility to say sir i have seen the dimension of god's grace in your life and i'm open to let it work in my life and honor becomes the key to that access and all of a sudden you find out that what was a mountain to you is trivialized under a certain kind of grace people have prayed for me in my life i have been a product of many people's prayers i have been surprised at how powerful the body of christ is i have prayed for people and sometimes i look at what they call a mountain and i am shocked because i know how easy that problem can be solved and in my mind sometimes i wonder where, where were you why did you allow it to get this bad before locating the body for help are we together there is something tonight that you need in god for you to move to the next level that is not yet in your life but it is available and for many of us the error of imbalance has made you to think that because your life cannot produce it it cannot be produced so you just say if it was for me god would have brought it directly through me and just because it didn't come directly through me then it's not important please hear me prosperity is as important as healing healing is as important as prayer prayer is as important as visions are we together salvation is as important as mental transformation mental transformation is as important as your health and hygiene stay in your area of calling but do not allow imbalance make you trivialize what god is doing god is not only walking in koinonia brothers and sisters god is walking across zaria god is walking across the north god is walking across africa it is only a privilege for us to be at the level that we are now in his program it's a privilege for us to be contributors that's the word contributors that you can come and listen to the supply of the dimension that god has put in me of course administratively speaking it it is important for you to be able to stay in your area of whatever ministry or whatever church you are part of for the purpose of administration and leadership however let me tell you the truth 
any man that indoctrinates you into camping around him alone and all the dimension revealed to him whether in the name of mentorship or fatherhood has deceived you if i am your spiritual father it means you have taken you have come under my authority but it does not mean that i represent all of christ to you i represent the voice and the speakings of god in your life but i must have the flexibility to allow you grow and this is my goal god knows i get materials that have nothing to do with me i send it to people in the ministry listen listen to it this will bless you it blessed me so much are we blessed we are going to pray father my my father would have prospered if only he listened to that prosperity preacher he said prosperity preachers are rubbish now my father is an evangelist who has lost his house although a preacher of the gospel lord my arrogant business partner father would have been such a man of prayer and he would have seen that accident before it happened but he ignored it because he thought everything was money and he neglected the place of prayer and evil came sat in our house and there was no eyes to see and nobody to manipulate things from the realm of the spirit and we died that death was not caused by god the refusal to tap from what god is doing close your eyes until there was destruction there's nobody to help me in school no if only you listen to the person that god used to say go to this church you would have found somebody who would have sponsored you it is your refusal because you never believe that there are people kind enough to sponsor you without strings attached and your imbalance did not allow you to tap into that dimension tonight i want us to start with a prayer of repentance lord forgive me for trivializing your other dimensions scattered across the body thank you for what you have shown me as a man of god lord forgive me for insulting business people forgive me for calling prosperous people wasters of your time lord i forgive me for calling prayer warriors hungry noise makers forgive me for insulting deliverance forgive me for insulting the prophetic i ask for mercy for insulting people who transform the mind in the place of prayer forgive me for thinking those who are the the personal development experts are useless to your agenda forgive my ignorance that has come through imbalance this imbalance has cheated me and my life has lost the flavor that should be go ahead and pray the reason why I am not blessing all things is because imbalance has pegged a dimension of God from my life. If I opened up myself to the healing ministry, I would have carried that healing anointing. My church would have been a church that experienced this healing. I rejected the prophetic and now confusion is destroying my life. Lord, I ask for mercy. I've exaggerated the prophetic and I've left the word of God. Now I've gotten into witchcraft and error. I've become a slave to prophets. Have mercy on me. And let me return back to the word. I've been so obsessed with power. And signs and wonders. That there is no place for spiritual growth. Being grounded and established in the word of God. All I look for now is power. Lord have mercy. Take away that imbalance from my life outside make sure you are praying everywhere pray the error the danger the destructive calamity that imbalance brings lord i've ignored the anointing and all i do is just an empty theological bible study without the power without grace so my church my business my family has no genuine anointing Lord, I open up myself to the dimension of authentic power. Lord, I rejected excellence. I thought it was just about prayer and Bible study and healing the sick. I rejected excellence. 
now all my TV programs are not accepted because they don't match a level of excellence. I have wasted resources because of lack of excellence. There are certain partners and helpers that excellence would have drawn to my ministry but lack of excellence threw, threw them away. I received that dimension. Pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. There is not, maybe not in Koinonia, but I observe the body of Christ and I see a widespread of prayerlessness. People don't pray again. Pray for me. That's the language of people. Oh, you are going for, please pray for us. So, and people don't pray. You know why? Because in a bid to balance this, we have insulted every prayer warrior, insulted anyone, any church that prays. These are just noise makers. It's all about money. And we have found out that there is no sensitivity in the body, no discernment. People don't pray. People don't travel. Gone are the days when you see people lock themselves somewhere and cry to the God of heaven. Now people fast and all, they just want cheap things. Oh man of God, let me sow a seed. Just touch my head. There are some things, it's not just by impartation. You must stay and cry upon the horns of the altar till something falls upon you from heaven. We are going to pray one prayer and say, Lord, what dimension is needed for my next level? Open me up unto it, O oh God. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, if it is the prophetic, that will take me to my next season then i open up my spirit for it if it's the miraculous that will take me to the next dimension if it's a healthy mental transformed mind lord i receive that dimension i will pray in please if it's a restoration of fire upon my altar that is the requirement for the next dimension i receive it if it's the knowledge of administration and excellence that I need Lord balance my life Lord balance my life balance my church balance my business balance my understanding balance my life balance my life take away from me the sarcasm for prophets Take away the sarcasm for Bible study. Take away the sarcasm for prayer. Take away the sarcasm for diligence. And Lord, let me incorporate these dimensions as coming from you. Hallelujah. Listen to me, we're rounding up. There are very anointed people, very anointed people who don't know how to speak before great men. Because to them, every gathering of people is a church service. And then God sends you now to your destiny helper and you don't know how to speak. And they throw you away back to the prison. Although you can interpret dreams, you didn't understand the protocol of seeing Pharaoh because you ignored the person who can teach you how to communicate. So you find out that the ministries never cross Nigeria because no other region can accept you. You have not been trained to understand global leadership and you don't know how to synergize spirituality with people's culture. You travel to another person's culture, they jail you as a man of God because you do not understand the terms. There are other ministries that the revelation God is giving them should go to the whole earth. But your resentment for wealth has kept you poor. And so nobody can hear your voice. No tapes, no books, no nothing. Because prosperity that will give it wings is not there. I can look at a congregation and tell in a split second the dimension they are ignoring. Because I see prayer warriors who the the oldest person there may be 60 years no car no house no school fees the moment they are driving children from school fees is all is all the prayer warriors children that return back home because they have ignored it now let me tell you something about imbalance your imbalance makes you represent misrepresent god to your territory because they are depending unbelievers are depending on the idea you give them about god make sure you give them a balanced perception 
don't present to them a God who empowers people and removes prosperity don't present to them a God who all that he does is to give them money and their spiritual lives they are not saved they are not born again they are going to hell but they have money that's a misrepresentation don't present to them a man of God that is anointed anointed and there's no room to teach the word so you have a congregation of members that never grow you have occultists in churches and they never never grow they don't understand the principles they destroy their homes half of a church is divorced with people because the teaching ministry there is no teaching priest there is power but there is no wisdom to share the ministry that keeps homes together are we together or you can have a crowd of people who never pray the prayer warrior in that whole church prays only for one hour because that dimension has been ignored we're going to pray one last prayer balance my life balance my life lift your voice and cry balance my life lord i receive leadership lord i receive prayer lord i see i receive wisdom through the word lord i receive favor lord i receive excellence lord i receive the warfare dimension i receive the prophetic i receive the deliverance dimension of the world every provision that the grace of god affords even if it is not working in my life i am open-minded towards the body no criticism and no resentment i repent from criticizing any and every man of god regardless of the limitations i open myself to the multifaceted dimensions of god resident within his ecclesia i receive the dimension that brings speed i receive the dimension that brings establishment i receive the dimension that brings glory i receive the dimension that brings increase i receive are you praying Lord until now I have not seen the need to be filled with the Holy Ghost I thought it was just something for Pentecostals but right now I open my spirit to receive it's a dimension needed in my life in your name we will rise I don't know you reign in your name. Hallelujah. Let me add one more prayer. Lord, put a dimension of love for the body in me. Love, love. When there is no love, criticism will remain. When there is no love, sarcasm and resentment will remain. Open your mouth and cry. Love for the body. Love for every church. Love for every man of God. Regardless of their dimensions, regardless of their limitations, regardless of their imperfections, Lord, we embrace them, we love them. If they are part of the body, they are the beloved. Lift your voice. No longer will I resent any man of God. No longer will I resent any church. No longer will I resent any fellowship, any gathering of believers. My propositions against them may be legitimate, but it still is not enough reason. Even if you are not part of them, wish them well. Even if you are not part of that church, wish them well. Even if you are not part of that prayer group, wish them well. Even if you are not part of that Christian organization, wish them well. You are not part of the mission agents, wish them well. Talk well about them. Talk well about their leaders. Hallelujah.
let me pray a prayer for you from the depth of my heart I want to pray for you listen I have gotten more results in my life from loving the body than from praying believe me I have gotten more results in my life just from loving the body than I have from my prayer life there are things I have not prayed for the love for the body brought it to me there are dimensions that my love I love the body of Christ there is no way I've not ministered and there is no way I will not minister there is no way I will see a man of God and have to turn and leave him and say oh you are from this no I have many friends today great people we don't believe many things we don't agree in many things yet it is still too small a reason you don't have to agree with people to love them you must agree to work together but you can disagree and still love them you believe in tongues I don't believe in tongues no problem you pray your tongues we can't work together but I can love you you believe in finances I don't believe in finance no problem I sit with my broke life after all Lazarus and Abraham they all went to heaven so you can sit the way you want and shortchange yourself you believe in finance you don't believe in prayer okay fine I, I can but this hatred do you believe in finance no go do you believe in prayer no do you believe in wearing trousers no go do you believe in tying your hair no go do you believe in praying shouting no don't do that don't do that don't ever be part of that nonsense you will think it's a good thing until you watch yourself destroy yourself are we together listen when you come to my house I have a modus operandi I have a system in my own house because it is my house but when I go to your house even if I see what is not permissible in my house in your house I must sustain a system of accommodation there is a way we do service here in koinonia you don't except someone is under the anointing you don't see somebody just run and come and fall down here he may kneel down may lie down there but you don't find that there are churches you go to that during praise and worship the man of god is jumping another member outside will come and be jumping with the man of god and they are sweating don't just see that and say god forbid what is going on here be careful in the midst of the lampstand christ is still there are we together you don't come and then you see a woman just because she's not wearing a ring she's standing and I see all these people we have moved past this level and you just say who is this woman humble yourself and sit down and say Lord let this woman speak to me you don't come and just because you see a woman maybe not covering her hair or whatever preserve your perspective as revealed to you by God but you must give allowance for the diversity of the body there are things I believe it will never change. No matter where I go to, there are convictions. Are we together? But I'm able to open up myself. And when I go to certain regions, I make sure that I go through the sacrifice of aligning to their understanding. There are places I cannot fly a shirt like this to go and minister. Not because it is wrong. The context of their understanding will not allow them to receive of the grace of God upon my life there are even some that I cannot even wear suit because once your suit is excessively clean and flashy that in itself may not even suggest that you are serious spiritually so I can decide to just wear something that is plain even traditionals I may not even wear something with many colors is the sacrifice so that there will be minimal distraction so they can receive it's called law for the body when you love the body there is no sacrifice that is too great if you are going to a church and they say to enter this church cover your head no i won't do this god carry your wrapper cover your head and enter and see jesus and let jesus minister to you and you go back when you do this you will see how your life will begin to grow because when the prophetess is coming and she's on trousers, i don't say oh this is no what are you saying when the woman is coming and she doesn't have any earring when the man is coming and all of a sudden you see him looking poor and wretched you don't say all oh, this poor man what do you have to tell me when we do this then the lapses in our lives will be closed and we will see a new church that is rising complete perfected by the diversities of the body therefore i pray for you in the name of jesus the grace to receive the multifaceted dimensions of God released through the body 
I release it upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you that the grace to be and remain unresentful towards the body, unresentful towards any and every church, receive that grace. I cast away from your life the spirit of cynicism and criticism based on differences that you do not appreciate. I command that spirit to live your life forever. I plant in you the fortitude to accommodate dimensions that are inconveniencing to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the grace to overlook the weaknesses and the limitations in the body so as to receive the grace upon her receive it in Jesus name the grace to sacrifice your convenience so as to find a dimension of Christ resident within certain inconveniencing spheres I release that grace upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ every dimension of God that should be working in your life and is deficient in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that by the mercy of God may he navigate that dimension back to your life in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for the spirit of humility that the pride that makes you see or think that any other person who is not you is not needed in your spiritual growth process I take away that pride forever in the name of Jesus Christ oh give thanks unto the Lord for he is good your situation irrespective he is good everybody say God is good say it God is good look your challenges to the face and say God is good Say, my God is good. Yes, my God is good. My God is good. I don't know about yours, but my God is a good God. My God is a good God. I'll never forget one time when a car hit me many years ago. I ran to go and buy, was it Gary or Chinchin or something? And 10 naira was about to take my life. I think it was Gary or something. I wanted to hurriedly soak it and help myself in a bit to cross back. The devil just orchestrated it because he knew that there are millions of lives that must be changed and blessed. And he just came and the car, it was, I was, I was in the middle of the road. I didn't know what to do. All I had was there was sound of a break and there was, it was as if I was dreaming. I just saw myself at the other side of the car and I had people shouting, hold him, hold him. They said, if they don't hold me, I'll stand up and I'll be mad. I just looked at them. I looked at my guard here. I picked it. I told them, I said, give me. Yes. I said, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. That night, my leg, there was, it, it swelled up for days. There was intense pain. But God is my witness. I said, I have met death and I overcame. That's why I don't fear death. I've gone through too many things in my life. I've slept on speaker. I've slept on amplifier. I've, I've, come on now. Muimaka sujada. Muimaka. Muimaka. Muimaka sujada. Muimaka. Muimaka, Ninaimaka, Sujada, Lord, I give you, I give you, I give you the highest praise. I give you, I give you, I give you the highest praise. I give you, I give you, I give you. Very soon I'm going to give us room about 10 minutes and it's going to be exclusive expressions of gratitude it's going to be you alone I know you came for a miracle service 
but father mother brother sister you're going to forget about whoever you came with i don't know how you are going to express it but i'll give us room shortly you are going to begin to count your blessings and say my god was it not just last month i had an accident i never gave you thanks for it lord i'm i'm grateful i started small but see what you have made out of my life lord we started from two members and now we are 35 i thank you i thank you when a situation overwhelmed me i did not know that morning will come yet you have kept me that it has become 20 years i remember when they said i had a heart disease for instance oh lord see what you have done in my life they said people die in our village they don't get to 20 now i am 60 years i give you thanks expressions of gratitude we forget many times we forget we are asking God for more Lord do more for me but you are alive but you are healthy you go to the hospital and see people hanging their legs hanging their legs for six months and you hear them singing praises day and night with their legs hanging if you can be grateful not just tonight if you make it a lifestyle i guarantee you there is no arsenal of hell against you that will prosper you will you will you will thank your way to the throne you will march through your challenges through thanksgiving until you get to the throne it's an unbeatable secret of greatness i thank god all the time i thank people all the time gratitude a simple but powerful secret that opens the heavens for a man hallelujah every everywhere that i go everything that i do i'll hear it yeah 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 that's my testimony. I'll hear him sanana. I'll hear him go by Gajena. Abba Mama Kide. Yes, who are Help me, Sam. you alone with your maker lift your voice and cry in whatever way you can and say my god i give you thanks my god i give you thanks go ahead you and your maker for the next 10 minutes for the next 10 minutes cry before him for the next 10 minutes
your blessings count your blessings oh god you are good and your mercy endures forever if the lord had not been by our side now may koinonia say thou oh god art the shield for us you are glory the lifter up of our heads you are our glory the lifter up of our heads for the things that you have done for the battles that you have won for the things that you have done for the battles that you have won only you alone are worthy lord we magnify your name thank you jesus protector redeemer provider defender announcer lifter sustainer we thank you we thank you that the council of darkness has not prevailed over your people we thank you for the miracles we thank you for signs for wonders for food for shelter we thank you for your faithfulness for exalting our heads like the horn of the unicorn we thank you for miracle jobs we thank you we thank you we thank you thank you for our families oh god you have been good oh god you have been good three more minutes give him thanks three more minutes us to thank God in one minute thank God in one minute for ENI and Koinonia I'd like us to thank God for the awesome things he's doing let's tell him we are grateful people for giving us a platform where the sick can be healed where lives can be transformed go ahead and thank him Lord we give you thanks not ashamed to let the world see that you are the mysterious factor behind our advancement we are not ashamed to declare to the world that you are our sustainer defender protector our hope our anchor we have no other God we have no other place you alone oh God deserve the glory faithful you will command unprecedented levels of grace and the anointing if it ever embarrasses you to thank God then you will never see his glory if you are ever ashamed and so conscious of your reputation you are so conscious of your emoji man of God I'm a great this and that all those things are nonsense when you come before his presence you throw them aside For the things you have done 
and the battles you ever won. Only you are worthy of our praise. We magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Only you. Magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Hallelujah. Psalms 107. I already sense the power of God. We'll just read this and go straight into the ministrations. Psalms 1. Oh, 07 we're going to read verse 6 and then we'll read 28 to 30 I want to show you another mystery two mysteries one is gratitude the second listen is a mystery I've seen this thing many times in the Bible I want you to read it one to read stop just the A part one more time It says, then they cried unto the Lord. There is a mystery when a man cries to the Lord. I used to think it meant just lifting your voice and be loud. Until God opened my eyes. Every time you see them say in their distress, they cried unto God. In their distress. Crying unto God is more than talking. Crying unto God first starts with a revelation. That Lord, if you don't help me in this issue, I am finished. It's a revelation. For as long as you have options, you will never see God arise in your life. Until you exhaust all your options. And you come to a point where you say, Lord, they gave me the drugs in the hospital. But I acknowledge that is crying unto God. That you say, Lord, you are my priority. If you don't give me a husband, I cannot get one. If you don't give me a job, there is no job for me. Crying to the Lord is more than just saying, Oh God, help me. Blind Bartimaeus cried. And this was his cry. Thou son of David, or not thou miracle worker. I know you. I know your power. Will you pass me by and leave me in my distress like this? I'm blind. God I've heard about you that you are the God who can wipe the tears of people I've heard about you that you are the one who makes the barren to sing I've heard about you that you are the one who raised Job back I've heard about you it says they cried unto the Lord whenever you are in trouble stop discussing the key is to cry unto God we have prayer requests here. Many of us are standing, trusting God to touch us. The key tonight is to cry unto God. And the Bible says he delivered them out of their distresses. Verse 28. 28 very quickly. One more time. Let's read. One to read. Again, then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And what did he do? He bringeth them out of their distresses. Next verse. He maketh the storm a calm so that the waves thereof, the waves that are killing you, that looks like you will not survive. He says God has the ability. There is something he can tell that trouble. It must hear his voice. Next verse. He says then, as a result, they are glad because they be quiet. So he bringeth them where? Unto their desired heaven. Listen. God knows your intentions. God knows your desire. He has the ability to bring you to where? Your desired heaven. But the key, after gratitude, you are authorized to cry. To cry to the Lord is not an embarrassment. When you cry, you are saying, Oh God, let your goodness and your mercy speak. At this point, it's not because of what I have done. At this point is, if it is with my intellect, 
if it's with my money if it's with my connection i have failed i cry to you in my distress in the next one minute before i minister we are going to cry to god listen i told you crying to god is a revelation a revelation that acknowledges him as your only source tonight you are going to say lord you are the only one you are the only one who can heal me i know this and tonight i cry to you the bible says he can calm the storm he can calm the storm oh yes he can lift your voice and cry to your maker thou son of david let your goodness and your mercy speak over me tonight pray lord there is nothing new about my situation you have done it before the bible is full of records of your faithfulness how you parted the red sea before people how overnight you turned the captivity of men and women pray lord i don't know how you will do it but i know you can do it they cried unto the lord in their trouble he said call upon me in the day of trouble cry to the lord my rent has expired i'm not working i have no idea but i cry to you i have multiple carryovers i don't know what will happen to me but i cry to you thou O oh god the lifter up of my head the one who is able to change my story i've not come to an idol it is within your power to help me oh thou ebenezer arise for me you are my ebenezer the helper of man god can help you listen to me god can help you god can help you they cried unto the lord in their distress cry unto the lord and watch what he will do in your life don't give him options don't give him options lord you are my only source i cry to you pray my only hope of entering into my desired heaven some trust in horses some trust in chariots but we will trust in the name of our god Lord, step in to the impossible, to the impossible. Lift your voice and sing inside and outside. No step to the impossible to the impossible come on let your faith rise tonight no Lord, step in, Lord, step in to the impossible, to the impossible. One more time. Lord, step in, Lord, step in. Step hallelujah the lord is healing a lady right now please check yourself and you just come out to testify before we continue i'm seeing a lady you came here with severe pain on your neck check it now 
check it now the lord is touching you the lord is touching you i'm seeing an elderly man in this place um you've been having pains towards the lower abdominal region the lord has just touched that man right now he's an elderly man i don't know where that person is please testify check yourself and immediately you find out you are healed make your way to the front make your way to the front god is touching people right now i don't know who i'm seeing an ear god is touching someone's ear it's like i don't know if it's an ear issue but god is touching it right now god is touching it right now god is touching it right now please check yourself and make your way right now right now let's just have two or three of those people god is touching it right now right now doing a miracle for somebody um i'm seeing somebody that has i don't know if it's um i don't know what to call it but it's like a serious stomach issue it comes and hooks you literally you are gasping for breath when that happens to you it's like it literally holds you check yourself now you'll find out that the lord has touched you make your way to the front very quickly you can make your way right here miracles are happening come on give jesus praise miracles are happening miracles are happening god is touching people right now can you give jesus praise god is touching people god is touching people right now i'm seeing someone with an eye problem you see like a black object it comes and goes it's like a it's, it looks like a needle like a black object you'll be looking at people and then you will see it this has happened for a while but god has touched you right now who is that person make your way to the front right now i'm seeing someone's left leg outside in the overflow there is someone with a left leg issue left leg is like you came towards the, the, the uh, this area where i'm holding i'm seeing the power of god touch that area check it right now check it right now and confirm your healing and make your way to the front check it right now confirm your healing make your way to the front hallelujah have they checked themselves now? you've checked yourself okay so quickly we'll just take two or three you can turn please come up come up let them come up when you come you can stand please come up man come up sir go ahead just tell us quickly straight to the point praise the lord uh, i have an ear issue and it normally scratch me sometimes okay and i'm feeling better by completely give right jesus now. praise hallelujah give jesus praise it never returns to you in the name of jesus yes sir please let's celebrate jesus celebrate what he's doing for some, yes for some years i have been experiencing pain here pain at yes. the lower abdominal yes, region yes. yes you know i gave now, a word of knowledge yes. that there was somebody lower it's getting better. and how, how about better. now exactly it's getting better. in the name of jesus christ lord we declare that it is perfected wow the power of god is coming on you it's perfected right now never to return to you in the name of jesus please check it sir check it check it right now check it it's Check getting it. better. Yes. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling you will better. be perfected in the name of Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Give Jesus praise. Praise the Lord. For the past two weeks now, I've been having ear pain. Ear it's pain. A, it's an attack. Okay. I have cold. I have catar. So this thing blocked my ear. I don't used to hear very well. So now I'm I'm okay. Completely. Yes. Madam, what? The Lord is bringing increase for you. I'm seeing attack. I'm seeing a serious attack. Your money has gone down. Yes. Because this, this, I'm seeing this has to do with. Mm. I don't know if you sell hair or you are doing I, something. I have salon in center. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it's like an attack. This thing yes, has gone down. People are not even coming the way it used to be yes. before again. Is that true? Yes. The Lord is saying, I should tell you in this miracle service, a restoration comes for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the restoration comes for you right now. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. God is visiting situations right now. Visiting situations right now. Go ahead, please, quickly. I want to thank God because I've been having serious pain on my neck at times. Neck pain? Yes, okay, the lady I said with neck pain, how long? It's like, it's for months. It comes and goes. At times, it's like my entire head, my ear, it affects my ear, but... When you were speaking, I, I just turned and I felt it was gone. You felt it was gone? 
Hallelujah. Now, there is a lady, while they were giving a testimony, there's a lady here. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came upon you right now. It's a miracle that God has given you. Who is that person? Come out. You are in this row. Where are you? Come. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came over you. Come. Come. This night, God is bringing restoration. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your anointing bring restoration for her right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tremendous restoration. I'm seeing a crown being put upon your head. Are you together? Are you together? I'm seeing a crown. Oh, you felt the same thing. I'm praying for you. Madam, the Lord is averting CS. The Lord is averting CS because, you see, the anointing is on you. The Lord is averting CS. I'm seeing a spirit standing by the theater. And I'm seeing that this is even supposed to destroy this baby. That they say this baby comes out and is affected. But the anointing of the spirit is upon you right now as I'm speaking. And I release the power of God right now. Let that demonic substance out of her. Now. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Is your family here? Is the time for the visitation? Where is our family? Please come. There is a whole deliverance for a family that God is doing here right now. I see that family. Please, where is our daddy and our mommy? Please appreciate them as they come. Enough of the nonsense of darkness. Please celebrate them as they come. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Lord, we see miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Sir. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a cause. This is what I'm seeing. As I look at you, the Lord is showing me this is a cause. Number one, it has tied down your finances completely down. This thing is so embarrassing, it has tied down everything. I don't know who is it in your family that has dreams. I see dreams of someone chasing somebody. I don't know which of your children or who now, but I'm seeing one of those people have dreams. That's their daughter. You see the power of God touching her, she's their daughter. She's the person with this case I'm mentioning. I'm seeing dreams and it's like people pursuing the person. This thing started right from your family. And this is already following this lady. Because I'm seeing now that the devil wants to put fibroid in her stomach. It's starting now as pain. I, I remove that fibroid right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cause that seed of fibroid by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing this woman crying before God in prayer. This is what I'm seeing. This woman has been a defense. I'm seeing her crying before God and saying, Lord, will you not wipe our tears in this family? But tonight, we see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. But every time they want to indicate helping you, something just comes and nobody is willing to help you. Because I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing a body but I'm not seeing a face. This thing has covered your glory. Whoever is supposed to help you misunderstands you. And for some reason, they, uh, they don't help again. Hallelujah. Who is Adamu? I'm hearing a name, Adamu. Adamu, I'm hearing something that has to do with Adamu. Adamu, please help, help those on Adamu, I'm hearing Adamu. Who is that? Adamu? Adamu? Huh? Where is your father? The person I'm talking about, his father's name is the one that is Adamu. Huh? What's your father's son name? Adamu. Adamu? Yes. God is giving Adamu a miracle. Yes, sir. Your father, right? Where is he? In Nasarawa State. In Nasarawa State. Yes, sir. Because this enchantment that is done against your family 
enough is enough it's part of your prayer request right yes, number sir. five six uh, number two and three yes, number two and three prayer requests yes, sir. look at it there yes, that's sir. it number two and number three that's what you wrote Lord read it miracle read it miracle in your family yes, sir. that's what i'm reading what you are writing and god is giving a miracle a big miracle to adam miracles everywhere I see miracles everywhere. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now. I see miracles everywhere. Love is a miracle. Miracles everywhere. We see miracles. Miracles everywhere. Right now, right now. The Spirit of God is ministering to me. I'm seeing the anointing of the Spirit. I'm looking at a map. And I'm seeing the spirit of God going to Yola. Yola. A miracle is happening in Yola. And it's going to this lady's family. This lady, right? I'm seeing a miracle. But there are two other people from Yola. From Yola. I see the power of God moving. Two people from Yola. It will come like a tornado upon you. It's a miracle that God is doing right there. There is a lady's elder sister who has been barren. I'm seeing the number three, three years. Barren, barren, help them. That lady is from Yolan. She's an usher, she's walking. But the spirit of God, I'm seeing is a wicked demon. This is what I'm seeing. That has been oppressing her family. I don't know if she's from Yola or not. But I'm seeing that God is doing a serious miracle. Sir. I'm going to pray for you, mommy. I will minister to you, madam. The Lord is saying I should tell you that the crying is over. The crying is over. Right now, as I speak, the power of God is coming on you. The Lord is saying I should tell you the crying is over. Right now, the angel of the Lord is pouring something that looks like oil upon your head. Pouring it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Pouring what looks like vials of oil. Now I curse this spirit. I address you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let this family go now. 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 This curse that has tied down the family. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. He said for I will contend with them that contend with you. Right now. The power of God is touching people. I see deliverance. Deliverance. Deliverance deliverance fire lift your hands everybody let's just interrupt this deliverance fire right now it will start touching people at the count of three father the angels of god there are many angels in this place bringing deliverance for families at the count of three let that fire come right now one two three receive it right now right now right now right now makaparatata bring them out deliverance for families outside I'm seeing the angels of the Lord go outside outside the power of God is moving it's like fire coming on families it's like fire it's like fire it's like fire it's like fire We see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. We see miracles everywhere. We see miracles. Miracles everywhere. We see miracles. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Father, where are those families you showed me in the place of prayer? That from the village. Now, I'm not one who just talks so much about village. But this one is from the village. I see an attack at the count of three. One, two, three. From the village. Those arrows back to sender. Shakatata. Leketata. Reketatata. From the village, I see enchantments. From the village, I see altars. I see covens. I set them on fire. 
I set them on fire. I set them on fire. They are calling your names. From the village, from the village, enchantments, witchcraft, death, outside, outside, fire is falling. What fire is falling? Fire is falling from the village. Speakings of death, enchantments of death. Yahweh 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 The name above all names Yahweh We call you Yahweh I'm ready to pray for you now. I didn't just leave you. I need to pray for you. My God, there is massive deliverance going on in this place. My dear, lift your hands where you are. An angel of the Lord is touching you right now. Right now. Mama, an angel of the Lord is touching you. He's doing something in your husband's life. Your husband's life. There is a miracle that is happening. Madam, your time for a miracle has come. Come. This woman, this woman wearing pink. No, no, no. I mean, that one. The one turning back. Yes, you, madam, come. Your time for a serious visitation has come. Let's stretch our hands towards daddy. Bring her. Be delivered now. I curse that spirit. Go! Stretch our hands towards daddy and mommy. Let's pray for them. Father, this plague must stop. I saw a curse. It was looking like a hollow over your head. It follows you everywhere you go and brings bad luck to your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, it's over. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I announce a new season. I announce a new season. Mommy, the spell is broken. Broken, 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 broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, I hold your hands in the name of Jesus and I announce to you that it's a new season. You will go back and experience dramatic turnaround. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't think it will come from all the channels you are planning. Unusual sources of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Madam, I want to pray for you. Do you have a daughter? Is she here? One is here? I'm seeing one of your child here. Where is the person? A girl? A lady? A girl, yes. A lady, where is she? Please call her name, let her come. Daughter, where are you? Who is the person? She's wearing something like traditional dressing. Who is that? Come. This has been your desire that God will visit your family, right? It's been your desire, it's been your prayer yes, sir. that God will visit your family. Yes, sir. And tonight God has chosen to step in. See, it's an awesome thing when the light of God turns to you. Then you know that your situation has come to an end. I mustn't call you. It's not just by word of knowledge. It's not just by word of knowledge. lady is going to vomit something I'm seeing something that looks like a snake moving in her stomach this is like I don't know if it's poison this is something that has been put to this lady 
I curse that devil. I curse you back to hell. Back to hell from where you came from. Hallelujah. Mommy, please stand up. Let me pray for you, man. You can stand up, please. I want to pray for you. God is going to bring dramatic breakthrough to your life. Please, I want you to note it. Dramatic breakthrough. It will so surprise you. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let captivity come to an end. In the name of Jesus, captivity comes to an end. I release supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And for you, supernatural breakthrough. Mama, I pray. The Lord told me that the tears have come to an end. He's wiping your tears. Father, thank you for your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Remember not the former things the Lord says I should tell you. In this season, he's doing new things. He will change the heart of your husband in a way that you never imagined. He will do this for his glory. The spell of bad luck over your life is broken. Bad luck. There's something about your life that makes people hate you. It's a spirit. And there are people here. Lift your hands, everybody. I'm praying for you. Whatever makes people hate you for no reason. I want you to know that it's not normal. You will see what will happen right now. There are people here. I know that people have those kinds of things. But there are people with those things. It's like an aura on you. As I was ministering to her, the Lord said, minister to the house. Father, where are they? Right now in the name of Jesus. Let the anointing locate them. Inside and outside. That spell of bad luck. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Justina, the Lord is bringing miracles to your family. Miracles to your family. I'm seeing a lady from, is it Oka? Oka? That should be East. I'm, I'm, Oka? Is there anyone from like that? I'm seeing a lady. Our minister generally will pray for the sick now, but I just want to flow. Oka? Oka? Is there someone like that? Please, if you are like that, you can make your way to the front. The Lord wants me to pray for that family. My dear, you with a white hair tie, that lady, you turning back, lift your hands where you are. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing, but God is destroying an embargo over your life and family. Lord Jesus, I destroy it right now. In the name of Jesus, where you are standing, I destroy it by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are from there? You are from Oka. Where is that? Anambra State. Anambra State. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. You're also from there? Huh? Make your way to the front. You are from there too. Three of you. Look at me. You cannot be a victim, you and your sisters, of the wickedness of people in the village. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hold my hands. Father, it must end. This must end. It must end by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. This is, this is, I'm seeing enchantment. This is, this is witchcraft to produce consistent failure in life. You and your sisters, I pray for you. Father, you are going to visit them in this season. You are going to visit them in this season. In the name of Jesus. I want to minister to you. You are from there too. Come stand. The Lord gave me that word and said to minister to the people. As I lay my hands and minister to you. I want you to know that everything that does not represent God. Huh? And everyone pursuing you in your dream. And disturbing you. It must end in the name of Jesus Christ. For you. There is, there is, I'm seeing something that looks like a crown in your head. We must remove it because it's not God that put that crown. Out in the name of Jesus Christ, that devil is a liar. Take it off of her in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother, my dear? Huh? Abby Estate. Abby Estate. We are going to pray for you. Tell your mother that a deliverance is coming for her, then a breakthrough. Deliverance first, then breakthrough. 
for the deliverance she will see it in a dream it's like something will be chasing her to catch her and she will see somebody who will snatch her out it's a dream connoting deliverance father visit this family out in the name of jesus christ my student here huh? yes. we must pray for you so that the spirit that destroys men when they are about to finish huh? in your family we must stop it in the name of jesus christ glorify yourself oh god i curse this spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ lift your hands everyone before i begin to minister to the sick god is bringing deliverance to families right now we are going to shout jesus at the count of three this is not just to you but god is stepping into families some of you never knew that what is happening physically in your family is as a result of all kinds of things devils lift your hands everybody at the count of three you shout jesus at the top of your voice and the power of god will move mightily in this place father in the name of jesus christ i pray that you step into families and end every oppression and every captivity right now i pray by the power of the holy spirit every family shakatatata, under any demonic siege my goodness the power of god is already touching people right now at the count of three let that shout be like a chord in the spirit one two three be delivered now 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 altars be broken altars be broken over families over families inside and outside and those following online i break it right now every family under any spell every family that's right kappa takata bring them out shakatatata every family under any spell oh you must leave them you must leave them i speak to those spirits hear my voice in the name of jesus there is no hiding place for you you must go you must go you must go it's time for their deliverance you must go hallelujah my goodness god is doing miracles right now god is so help that lady please help them sisters lift your hands i want to pray for just the sisters something remarkable will happen right now remarkable there is a spirit that puts women in bondage because when one woman is in bondage it can affect a thousand men there are ladies oh my goodness the fire of god will move not small sisters lift your hands lord by fire as the sisters cry that spirit that seraph that follows ladies and causes them visiting them in dreams as you shout jesus my goodness i pray that those fallen spirits that will not let you go that did not keep their original estate they will be judged right now father locate every one of these sisters right now one two shout jesus right now right now right now right now right now those spirits go 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 lift your hands there are people here strange dreams strange dreams in the night you sleep in the night and you have all kinds of strange dreams from men or women or animals coming to sleep with you or people tying your legs and you see what is happening in the day whether you believe it or not is not the issue i want to settle those things right now lift your hands lord where are these people from the dream realm from the realm of the spirit as you shout the name jesus anyone under this condition some of you that's what is responsible for masturbation some of you that's what is responsible for pornography some of you that's what is responsible for delay 
lift your hands father those spirits that use the realm of dreams and visions and manipulate destinies manipulate the stars of your people at the count of three we set them on fire fire comes upon you now many guys will be affected one two three Oh, I bring you deliverance in the name of Jesus. I cause those spirits, causing delay. You must leave now, 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 now. Shaba ba ba ba, shake te te te, kapra ta ka ta ta ta, shake te 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 te, reke te te te, go 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 go. Watch what they do. Shaka ta 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 ba na na ba, emproto koto pariata. That spell of delay must leave. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. I'd like you to pray and cause delay from your life. In the next one minute, open your mouth and say enough is enough. I must move forward. Pray. Please pray. Take it seriously. It's called a miracle service. It's called a miracle service. Pray. Lord, I'm tired of delay. Yes, yes, yes. Prophesy. I'm moving forward. This is the ninth month. By the blood of Jesus. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. Under this anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to shout after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Every gate and every obstacle standing between me and the next level by the blood of Jesus I bring those gates down. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Gates of limitations standing before me and my desired heaven gates of limitation standing before me in the name of Jesus gates of limitation standing before me and my desired heaven outside make sure you are praying pray you will return with a testimony you are praying under a corporate anointing hallelujah Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Everything that belongs to me and is not yet in my life in this season by the power of faith I command them to manifest. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and pray. Come on Koinonia. Everything. Every lifting every glory that belongs to me and has refused to manifest by the power of faith even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not as though they were hallelujah Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every legal access. Every claim. The devil has. Over my life. Over my family. By the blood of Jesus. I declare that I'm free. 
by the blood of Jesus I command my liberty I declare that the price for my freedom has been paid therefore Satan stay off my life open your mouth and begin to pray stay off my life the price has been paid by the death of Jesus every curse every yoke every spell every enchantment by the blood of Jesus pray Hallelujah. I want you to listen to me carefully. I'm doing this by the Spirit. Listen, many breakthroughs are happening to people just from this simple prayer. I wish that God could open your eyes to see the things that are happening to people. You are, this is not just your normal prayer. You are under a heavy anointing. Listen, human beings have prophetic atmospheres. The ark of God came into the house of Obed Edom and brought him good. Jonah entered a boat and made people to be destroyed. Listen, some of you are good people, but you are carrying a spiritual atmosphere. That brings bad luck to you and everybody connected to you that's what prophets sometimes will see and because they don't have discernment they call people witches and wizards they are not witches and wizards they are sincere people but they carry a spiritual climate that everywhere they go it makes certain things to happen do you understand now some of you are sincere people but you are carrying atmospheres that makes everything around your life to fail we are going to pray say after me in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus this is strong prayer this simple prayer you are saying you will see the result instantly I like you to pray and say every atmosphere that I carry that does not come from God and is responsible for bad luck and misfortune in my life tonight I declare let that atmosphere change lift your voice and pray seriously lift your voice and pray seriously every negative atmosphere kaparatata pray miracles are happening pray every negative atmosphere pray that brings bad luck I may be a sincere person but it brings repeated misfortunes I challenge it whether ancestral whether territorial I challenge it I change my spiritual climate by the blood of Jesus hallelujah two more prayer points and we'll pray for the sick hallelujah we're going to pray a prayer of restoration do you believe in restoration nothing is ever truly lost it only leaves your presence I like us to pray yeah that's the song everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen one more time 
Forget about your situation. Just prophesy. Just prophesy. You may not know how it will happen. Just prophesy. One more time. Prophesy. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. All the years, all the fortunes, every opportunity, every access that has been lost in my life by the mercy of God, I command them to come back to me. Go ahead and pray. This is a serious prayer point. All the years, all the fortunes, all the opportunities, all the access that have passed your life. Pray like Samson. Pray like Hezekiah. Pray. Let there be a restoration. Shagadabalarabash. Shagadabalarabash. And I will restore to you the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray the last prayer point. Listen. There are spirit entities that challenge and haunt the destiny of people in the realm of the spirit. When Jesus was born, certain men saw his star from the east and they started following that star. And the moment they announced to Herod, a king is born. Herod said, ah, a king. He said, please find where he is and tell me so that I will come and worship him but his intention was to kill him you are going to pray over your destiny please take this prayer point seriously shout it say in the name of Jesus I declare that my destiny is secured by the blood every act of witchcraft that has tied down my destiny right now by the blood of Jesus. Release it now. Pray, pray. Release my destiny. Release my destiny. My prophetic potential. Release it. Release it. Hallelujah. Prophesy after me, say in the name of Jesus. This is my year of the rain. It's a new dimension for me. I'm breaking every limitation. Say it again. I'm breaking every limitation. And I declare that in this remaining part of the year, an anointing comes upon my life that causes me to triumph that causes me to excel go ahead and pray it lord is my year of the rain an anointing comes upon my life a speedy walk by the holy ghost a speedy walk of restoration a speedy walk Hallelujah. We are going to do two things at the same time right now. Listen. If there is any trace of sickness and infirmity in your body, it's time for it to die. Are we together now? Are we together? Now please just address these people. We are going to have all those people come and line up. While that is happening, please I beg you, if you do not write anything in your prayer request, please if you need papers, maybe the ushers can pass it. 
we are going to be praying on everybody's request those on facebook some of your loved ones you are permitted to switch off your switch on your phone and tell them please send in your prayer request because god is about to do something right now while you are doing that be praying in tongues everybody be praying in tongues while sick people all those who brought sick people make your way to the front very quickly please very quickly all those trusting god for healings and miracles please just line up everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be restored unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored The devil is a liar. He must let you go tonight. Hallelujah. We don't just lay hands on people. I know that it takes a lot of time. But it's the way God is directing us. It's not just ordinary hand laying. It's a prophetic point of contact. Some of you are coming out for sickness. But the truth about it is that there is an oppression of darkness. Is that the mama with cancer? Okay. No, no problem. No problem. She can come. If she cannot stand, just give her a seat. Let her sit down, please. Those who are weak and cannot stand, please, you can give them a seat so that they don't collapse. The, the woman with cancer, if she, if she cannot come, just I'll minister to her. Everything that was lost, Make sure you are writing your prayer request, please. Everything that was told shall be returned. Hallelujah. All of you that are coming out, I want you to know that we are patient enough to minister to us. There are all kinds of ministries. This ministry is like a spiritual factory, it's like a spiritual workshop. It's where we dirty our hands on the job. And as I minister to us, please, I want our hearts to be open. Don't just stand watching the power of God touch people. The moment I lay hands on you and minister to you, I want you to receive. You can go back to your seat. Some of you will be under the anointing. It doesn't matter. As I pray for you, you don't have to scrounge. I will lay hands on everybody. It's going to be a quick walk. It will take time. Please, when you write your request, pass it to the ushers. In case there are things, listen, listen. Let me teach you how to maximize this prayer point. Don't just write things carelessly. While you are writing, be praying in tongues. Because the Spirit of God will bring into your mind. Bring you into remembrance. It may even be a matter that is not your own. You heard the story of the gentleman. Dropped a prayer point and nine months later, they are coming with twins. There is nothing God cannot do. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Over your people. There are powers tying down their destinies. But you have put this miracle service as a prophetic platform. Let there be miracles. Go ahead. All of us, we can join praying in tongues while I pray for these people. Occasionally, worship team, you will help us. Lord, we give you praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at this. I don't know. They can't see it on screen. It's not clear. This is a leg that is bent. Father, do a miracle. They didn't fix it well. In the name of Jesus, right now. Let the power of God do a miracle on this leg. In the name of Jesus. Almighty God, you know me, my Lord. You know me, my Lord. Out! Now you be God. Almighty God, you know me, my Lord. You know me, my Lord. You know me, my Lord.
you know out of him Prayer point number two. Lord, I take full delivery of everything you package uniquely for me tonight. Lift your voice. I will not miss out on anything. Yeah. Hallelujah. Who brought this woman, please? Huh? What's the issue? What's wrong? Chief. Hallelujah. We'll soon be rounding up. Let's just hear. No, no, no. Keep us standing. What's wrong? Paralytic. Nice. Paralyzed. Yes. Mama, can she talk? Yes. Mama, for how long? I paralyzed did. yes i went to the house and met she can't walk on her own she can't walk very well mama in the name of jesus christ i curse this spirit it's okay in the name of jesus mama look at me in jesus name lift your hand lift it go don't look at, just lift it put it down lift it again paralyzed hand look at this look at this Mama, clear the way for her. In the name of Jesus Christ, walk. Come. Don't hold her. Come. 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 Turn around. Turn around. Walk. Come. Come. Come on. Give Jesus he praise. Miracles say everywhere. Miracles say everywhere. Paralyze. Miracles say everywhere. of paralysis it never returns to you again in the name of jesus you are the son that brought her are, she's not your mom yes. but you brought her yes. i pray for you may you never lack helpers in your life because you are a young man you are not related to her yet you carried mama out of compassion this miracle is because of you i'm laying hands on you and i prophesy to you all the days of your life may help us be around you like this in the name of Jesus Christ for as long as your eyes can see the sun you will find a helper in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you celebrate mama God bless you there's a miracles everywhere make sure you submit for prayer requests everywhere You are in ministry. I want you to come out. I, I don't mean 
you want to do ministry you are actively ministry come and stand here it's time for you to take fresh fire please if you come out and you are not a minister i'll send you back i assure you don't embarrass yourself if you're a minister and you know not just that you sense the call of god please don't embarrass yourself we are going to pray for everybody but if you're a minister come go ahead don't be afraid We're in a season of God's glory. Please listen. We're in a season of God's remarkable grace. It takes signs and wonders. Not just grammar and story. The Bible is not waiting for the explanation of the sons of God. For the manifestation. Please, I'd like you to believe. I'm going to do this very fast. The Lord has instructed me. Immediately after we do that, all visitors, visitors alone. I will not lay hands on you, but I'll pray for you. And then we'll pray for the request prophesied and we're out. We'll do all this within the next 10 minutes so that we're done. Father, I pray. It's not by might, it's not by power. Lord, as I lay hands upon your servants, let something new, something divine, my God, I pray, activate the gifts of the Spirit in them. Activate the operations of signs and wonders. Let utterance be given unto them. Let their lives, O oh God, produce results. Results, O oh God. Results. Signs. Wonders. Miracles. By your hand. Take the fire, 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 fresh fire, fresh fire. Fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, new levels, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, new dimensions, fresh grace. My goodness, fire is falling, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh grace, fresh fire, fresh fire. Fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh grace, fresh anointing, new anointing, new dimension. Gifts of the Spirit. Vision. Dreams. Prophecies. Multiplied graces. I prophesy to all of you, let it be a new season. In the name of Jesus. New season. New season. New season. I empower you for a new dimension in the spirit. I empower you. Fresh grace. Fresh grace. Please stretch your hands towards the prayer request. Unto thee that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Please stretch your hands. Is a prophetic instruction God gave us we have seen amazing testimonies if there are still people left please let them come let them drop it very quickly in one minute I'd like you to begin to pray Lord it's time to turn my story around my goodness as we pray miracles will begin to happen to people right in the crowd right in the crowd as I'm touching the request something is happening to you something is happening I'm seeing angels lightning all over all over all over father in the name of jesus we pray go ahead and pray everyone
scriptures talk about a blessed man that happens when my is in the Lord. So the Psalm 1 says, I release angels. I angels. I release angels. I activate angels. In the crowd right now, I turn this request to testimonies. I activate angels. No, solve problems, solve problems. Let burdens be removed. I activate angels. I activate angels. mighty miracles are happening I see all kinds of miracles happening in the realm of the spirit father turn these requests into testimonies the way I walk on them oh God these problems remain under our feet forever in the name of Jesus Christ under our feet forever in the name of Jesus Christ all our visitors please come out quickly if you're a visitor here Visitor, this is your first time. Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to us last year. He said we should prophesy and pray over the visitors. Some of you have traveled kilometers. You have traveled from different states of this nation. Risking yourself through the night. Please make sure you come. Clear the way for them. You are a visitor. This is your first time you are coming here. Make your way to the front. Let's celebrate them. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see what I'm saying, people? The number of visitors that troop in every week into Zaria for Koinonia is getting so much. We have to find something to start doing around your regions so that we save some of you transporting yourself Maybe we'll open a branch of Koinonia in all those places. Maybe we'll come to your village. Hallelujah. But seriously, we're trusting God for instructions for the next level. And I'm sure that very soon he's going to speak. But I perceive that very soon there's going to be a lot of expansion because of what God is doing. Hallelujah. Are you glad about that? Let's celebrate Jesus. God has brought you here. Your life will never be the same. Please lift your hands. Father, you have brought these people all the way. Some of them with burdens. Some of them coming to catch fire. I stretch my hands towards you. My goodness, I see impartations happening to people. Those of you standing, I'm seeing impartations. It's like rain. Rain touching people. That's what I see. These are showers of blessings, showers of miracles. I prophesy to you from tonight. Help them, help them, help them, help them, please. I prophesy to you. Step into new levels in the name of Jesus Christ. Step into new dimensions. This is Koinonia, a place of encounter. It's not just the name of a meeting. It's the name and the dimension of the operation of the Spirit. We bless you with hunger for God. We bless you with passion for the things of the Spirit. I'm praying for you. You will go back with such fire. You will go back with such passion you will not recover from. I pray that everything that has not been working in your life, let it be activated tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I welcome all of you. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. 
a meeting put together by eternity network international we're here every friday um this is not our usual venue our venue is christ gospel church at new extension but we thank you for coming i bless you in the name of jesus and i'm praying for you from the depth of my heart and on behalf of everyone in this ministry and the many who are joining us online that you will return with a strange miracle in the name of jesus you will return with a strange miracle some of you even before you get home your miracles will be waiting for you some of you this night you will have dreams and encounters and the veil over your eyes will be open some of you this night god will show you what has been happening in your life god will show you direction i see god giving a lot of you direction direction for the next level you will hear his voice very accurately in the vision of the night in the vision of the night he will show you in the name of jesus christ we bless you for those of you who have never been here i want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll have your details outside very quickly and then you come and join us those of you who have been here and we have received you you can just go back to your seat with a blessing but those of you who have never been here you've not put down your name we need your names and details i want you to make your way here in the name of jesus everybody rise as we receive the last prophecy for the meet now you be god God, you know be my new. You know be my new. Now him be God. Almighty God. You know be my new. You know. Two more times. Now you be God. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow morning we are off to Kogi State. We are going to be tearing down the walls of darkness. Trust God to set that territory free. Pray for us and if you come from Kogi, stand by us and tell and let's trust God to really do something apostolic in that land in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now please, this for me, you always hear me say this. I consider this to be the most important part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to receive the creative power of the spoken word the creative power of prophecy this is where the word of god comes into you like a drug and literally literally alters you and so i want you to receive with your heart open hallelujah please receive with your heart open in the name of jesus christ as I pray for you, I want you to receive by shouting a resounding amen. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. I prophesy no more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears. No more tears. No more tears in the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted, I prophesy. May a supernatural anointing come upon it. Let it begin to produce extraordinary results. In the name of Jesus Christ. Extraordinary results. I pray for everyone due for promotion. And every of your loved ones due for promotion in the name of Jesus we cause the embargo stopping their promotion and we prophesy promotion there will be testimonies of promotion the power of God is touching people everyone and every family called jobless I feel like fire on my hands as I'm about to pray this Please help them. I feel like fire on my hands. Everyone represented here and every family called jobless. 
right now in the name of Jesus I release an anointing for supernatural jobs receive it receive it receive it help them please receive it receive it testimonies of jobs testimonies of jobs testimonies of jobs every delay in your life that has stopped you from entering where you should enter now the anointing that came on Elijah that he girded his loins and ran receive that anointing right now I cause delay in the name of Jesus I cause delay in the name of Jesus everyone who has vowed that over their dead body for you to rise and your family to rise I declare that to their shame my God will lift you before them my God will lift you before them my God will lift you before them everyone who says can anything good come out of your life I prophesy to you in this season God will use your life to answer them God will use your life to answer them I pray for you in the name that is above all names whoever needs to come into your life in this season no let's start it this way whoever needs to go out of your life this season in the name of Jesus if their presence has been causing you pain and setback I break you free from them now wrong associations be free from them now wrong relationships we break it now wrong soul ties we break it now wrong connections we break it now wrong fraternities we break it now we break it now we break it now i command them out of your life out of your family listen some of our parents the trouble in their life is because they have wrong friends they will never leave they keep influencing them to make useless decisions i pray for every family any stranger manipulating the destiny of any family through the counsel of Akitofel, today we send them packing from their homes packing from your homes in the name of jesus until samuel appeared the destiny of saul remained covered until jesus appeared 12 years of hemorrhage continued whoever must appear in your life whoever must appear you hear me talk of destiny help us all the time your next level comes from god but through the hands of a destiny helper from the realm of the spirit destiny help us i call you from the north from the north from the south from the east from the west wherever you are locate god's people come into their lives in the name of jesus Every academic challenge you have tried and done everything you know to do but you need a miracle in the name of Jesus I release my faith upon with you receive academic miracles now 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 we activate angels to faculties angels 
to departments, angels, to faculties, faculty of art, science, environmental design, medicine, engineering, administration, education. We release them now. Miracles in the name of Jesus. That favor anointing that makes men run to look for people to bless them. I pray for you. When the favor of God came upon my fever shed, Saul looked for him and blessed him. Receive favor right now. Unusual favor. Uncommon favor. Uncommon favor. In the name of Jesus. Before I pray the last prayer point, listen, if you're here and you've not given your heart to Jesus Christ, please, I can't pray this last prayer point without making this sure because I want to pray something dangerous. If you're here, you've never given your heart to the Lord, please listen, inside and outside, or you once gave your heart to Jesus Christ, but for some reason, you see they're already coming out, follow them. You found out that you need to make your ways right, please our time is limited in one minute inside and outside you're welcome make your way to the front god bless you bless you they are coming going on here celebrate them don't sit back don't sit back this is a family this is not all of you i believe there are still some people outside clear the way for them please clear the way god bless you sirs. bless you sirs. celebrate them jesus is calling you god bless you ma calling you to give you a new beginning Please, if they are coming, clear the way for them so that they don't become discouraged. Motivate them. Clap for them. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Run to Jesus Christ. He will give you a new beginning. If the Holy Spirit is telling you to come out, come out. Don't sit back there. Don't sit back there. Many of you are hearing the nudging of the Spirit. He's saying, why are you sitting down? Don't argue with him. Make your way hallelujah thank you so much for coming out brothers and sisters i want to lead you in a prayer of salvation it's not a poem it's not a special number it's a it's a genuine prayer of dedication god bless you hallelujah lift your right hand high to heaven and say this very passionately please you are not reciting a poem this is not an article you are praying to god this is a prayer that is going to save your soul and redeem you and empower you to be great say lord jesus i believe in you and i love you with all my heart i ask you to forgive me my sins i receive jesus christ into my heart be my lord be my savior from today my past is gone it's a new beginning i receive eternal life into my spirit the old is gone and the new has come in the name of jesus christ i pray for you right now i stretch my hands father these ones have come to make a decision for you i pray that this decision will be permanent they will never backslide no going to the world no going to the flesh i release grace upon you to live the victorious christian life in the name of jesus christ every wrong association every company of wicked and senseless people you will not have any appetite and desire to be close to them again you will love them but you will not associate with them again i receive grace for you to edit your friends wicked and unreasonable people are far from you forever in the name of jesus christ i bless you congratulations in the name of jesus it's a new beginning please follow the gentleman waving his hands and they will have your details will follow you up in the name of jesus Please lift your hands for the last prayer point. I want to pray for the gift of the Spirit to fall upon your life. This is why I said we have to pray for them. Please lift your hands. Just a quick walk in one minute. Some of you have passionately desired certain things. Some of you have had dreams but you cannot understand. God is speaking to you. There are many of you that have longed to hear the voice of God. You are praying and somehow you hear it but there is no clarity and direction. There are some of us that are trusting God for newer levels of the anointing, the gifts of the Spirit. 
please lift your hands in one minute i'm going to pray there will be a great impartation upon you all the gifts of the spirit the nine recorded in the bible and every other one that is available in god father i'm praying right now as your people shout i receive let there be mighty impartations there are people here who will carry strange fires strange grace at the count of three shout i receive one two three receive it right now right now right now right now gifts of healing impartations visions 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 prophetic encounters Kaparatata. receive it right now in the name of jesus word of knowledge word of wisdom gifts of leadership administration dreams visions entrepreneurship every gift available receive it now now please help that lady so she doesn't enjoy herself i pray for you what you could not do by the gift of the spirit go and begin to do it where you could not enter by this new anointing go and enter nothing dies in your hands in the name of jesus christ Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words, let them not depart from thy eyes, 